Gentlefolk, welcome to Tabletop Titties, a queer and feminist live Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition actual play podcast run entirely by people of marginalized genders. My name is Charlene Bear, and today I will not be your dungeon <gasps> goddess this evening. We are being hosted by the lovely Role Playing and Role Playing podcast. And today we're raising money in this charity one shot for Wava Rape Crisis Center. Thank you so much to R&R for joining us today. And they are a chaotic fun podcast that's just about to release their second season they release every sunday so check them out at roleplaying and roleplaying.com to listen to uh their podcasts find their affiliates and get more information and today we are jumping into the wizard of mur of mur no. sorry no. Wizard of mur, <laughs> no. uh, which is the spooky halloween themed one shot and today we are playing for wava rape crisis center and you can affect the game all funding proceeds go, uh, from today will be benefiting Wava Rape Crisis Center. They are a charity that provides immediate crisis and long-term support services to survivors of sexual assault. No donation is too small. $5 gets a survivor to and from group therapy. 15 funds an hour of tech slash chat support for survivors. And 35 provides an hour of their 24-7 free of charge crisis and information line that accepts calls from around the world. Every $60 provides a survivor with one hour of one-on-one -on -one counseling free of charge. If you have $100 to share, spare, that covers taxi services to and from the hospital for five survivors. And you can donate to affect the game. What? $10 gets you a ticket into the raffle. $20 gives one of us lovely players advantage. Wouldn't be sad about it. <laughs> 35, <laughs> uh, 35 gives, a, gives someone the game a wild magic surge. Uh, $50 gives a nat 20. $100 is a pull from the deck of many things. Ooh. Spooky. And thirty dollars, you get to insert a boss of your choice to help or hinder. Three hundred. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a big yeah. boy. That's big. But you know, it all goes to survivors. We have a goal. We would love to hit it. Uh, and as we earn more and more funds, that means more and more prizes are added to that raffle for you to win. So donate. Be generous. All it takes is ten dollars to get a ticket into the raffle. Every other donation above that, you still get a ticket and you get to affect the game in whatever way Sarah just read off. And I've but, got the ooh. QR code next to me in case people just got their phones and want to donate. Super yeah. easy. It's, like, it's a mystery. Cool. What could be in there? <gasps> in the chat, <laughs> Who knows? you can also type exclamation mark donate to get more information about what's happening today. But before we get into the episode, we want to acknowledge the colonial history of North America and how North America has and continues to take from indigenous people. The effects of colonization are still felt to this day, and we acknowledge that this episode is being recorded on the stolen lands of the Sequetmic, Semiamu, Ojibwe, Odawa, and Potawatomi, Squamish, tsleil and Coast Salish First Nations. If you would like to know more about the effects of colonization and support some indigenous charities and organizations, you can go to the resources page on our website at tabletoptitties.com slash resources. And I also want to point out that WAVA has a specific uh, counseling stream specifically for indigenous survivors. They don't have to wait for the 2.5 year wait list to get on free services. They can go straight to the front of the line. The haunted players today are ready to go. So to start us off today, I'm not the DM. I'm playing Biscuit Pitter Patter. Uh, his pronouns are he, him, mine are she, they. Super excited to play this divination wizard once more, who's usually very confident as the greatest wizard in the world. <laughs> but today, he's missing his confidence. He needs to find it. He's so sad. Hopefully, on this Wizard of Mur challenge, <laughs> we will be able to find that. Uh, my name is Kelly. My pronouns are they, them. And today I will be playing Antares. I didn't look up how to pronounce that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's your yeah, I well, mean, you can pronounce it. it any way you want. You think Antares now. Um, and she is a uh, circle of stars druid. Her pronouns are she, her. And she has lost her constellation. She has no star sign, therefore no fortune. She has no idea what's going to happen in her life. That's me. 
Uh, my name is Sarah Mayfield. My pronouns are she, her. And today I'm playing Shelly, the uh, cleric um, <laughs> uh, turtle. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she just wants a home. Oh. Oh no! Oh, that's so sad. She walks around that's with a home on her back, but it's not really her home. <laughs> All right, I'm... Auntie. Oh, <laughs> Auntie Audrey, you got it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, my name is Audrey Kira. I use she/they pronouns, and today I will be playing Scarlet Valentine. Um, they are an Archfey warlock, and um. They uh, lost their spell book. So they're out here looking kind of to regain some of that lost brain power. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Sam Cumberford, he, him. And I'm playing Sprinkles, who is an adorable little halfling, uh, Path of the Beast barbarian, who is a pacifist. And he's also a liar. That's his flaw. He doesn't want mm. to be a liar anymore. Wait, oh my so are God. you a pacifist or not? Yeah, really. <laughs> Sprinkles, is. Sprinkles is a pacifist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I am Alex Judela, and I will be your dungeon master for this evening. As you can see, I have my spooky setup with my spooky tree and my, and his no, name's no, they Jerry. They can't see the skeleton. They can't see the skeleton? No, Jerry. That's tragic. We're depriving Jerry is our precious, our, our precious like audience awesome. of Jerry. I'm going to move you for a sec just so people can see the skeleton. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello. Oh, Hello. It's Ooh. terrifying. It's like and staring I, at you from the abyss. Indeed. Jerry and I are very excited. <laughs> And we are using Sirenscape today to help make our stream more atmospheric. We'll have some spooky music and sound effects featured in there. You can use them too for free. Check them out at sirenscape.com. And today we also wanted to let you know that we have some potential content warnings, including body horror and general light horror themes. We won't get too deep into it, but it is going to be very uh, Halloween-ish, you know, some, some good Ooh. jump scares here and there. Um, <laughs> If this is something that is not great for you today, feel free to leave the stream, come back at another time, or just check us out or role-playing and role-playing another time. Uh, we produce so much content, you'll find something that you love. And all players, I'd love to remind you to just use the X card if you need. If anything comes up during play, uh, you can say X, type X in the chat, use an X with your arms, and we will redirect conversation as needed. And with that, I will pass us off to our lovely DM for the evening, Alex. <laughs> it is a dark night in the nation of Ardian. Normally at this time, you would see the sun setting, but a thick layer of clouds stops any light from attempting to reach you. We start in a lonely roadside inn, a resting stop for travelers and adventurers with miles of grain fields in every direction. Miles, not kilometers, important distinction. <laughs> <laughs> In one way or another, each of you have found your way to this lonely place, the Barley Bed Inn, where you will be staying the night. I will now go along and ask you all where you are and what you're doing in this inn. Feel free to build upon the description of the inn. Currently, as we stands, it is a lonely inn, perhaps with some stables surrounded by grain, but feel free to add whatever you like to fit in with how you want your character to start. Let's start out. Biscuit pitter patter. Where are you at the Senate? What are you doing? Yeah. Um, well, uh, so, uh, you know, Biscuit, um, I'm just feeling a little upset today. So I think I want to have my favorite snack, some roasted hazelnuts, which means that um, I'm going to be by this huge fireplace. This fireplace has um, a myriad of stones, uh, quite beautiful to look at. But of course, it is very rustic, very simple. Uh, and Biscuit is just going to be sitting next to it with a small pan roasting over the flames. In fact, all of the stones in the fireplace are brought from different parts of the world, and adventurers drop them off for the uh, tavern keeper to like kind of put them in later so it's an accumulation it just grows bigger over time um what does biscuit patter pitter patter look like biscuit is a male divination wizard he is a mouse folk which means he's about two and a half feet tall he's got brown fur covering his entire body 
tiny pink nose, huge ears, and uh, he's currently wearing, uh, people always make fun of him for his robes. They are not a bathrobe, they are mage robes, okay? <laughs> These are white currently with gold gilded emblems on the edges, uh, but that might change depending on what spells he casts. <laughs> oh, very interesting. Uh, in the same room as you, because this is kind of like a living room, also tavern situation, a resting point for people to drink or to just sit by the fireplace. With you in this room is the innkeeper, who is a light foot halfling. Uh, her hair is high up in a big bun, uh, and she is just currently sitting behind the counter reading what appears to be a romance novel and drinking a healthy glass of wine. <laughs> oh. Respect. Respect. Mm -hmm. Good night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you yeah. happen to have um, any, any spare wine? I'd love to have um, a beverage with my snack. Uh, well, I, I suppose I could get something for you. Uh, quick question. Can you show me some ID or something so I can double check your age? Um, sure. <laughs> I frantically search my pockets. Do I have identification on me? That is up to you. <laughs> I, you know, uh, Biscuit realizes there is nothing in his pockets. I actually think I forgot my, my papers at home, but have you not heard of me? I am Biscuit Pitter Patter, the greatest wizard in the world. I'm, f it's 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 well known in this area. Uh, make a persuasion check to see how well known it is in this area. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. That's a fifteen. Uh, the innkeeper did get a natural twenty to recognize you. <laughs> Uh, so she says, well, I know exactly who you are, Sugar. You're the one who's been running around and getting all my nieces and nephews in a huff about some special magic mouse. Exactly! That's me! You know who I am! So clearly I deserve some crisp white wine. I can tell you that I like you and I like the joy that you bring to the younger folks of my family. So one glass on the house. Mouse-sized. And uh, she'll give you a, a very small uh, glass of wine and go back to reading her book. Hey, it's big to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are going to move on now to Antares. And Antares. Yep, one of those, sure. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> where are you in this inn and where? what are you doing? You could have been in the same room as them. Uh, yeah, I think Antares is in the main sort of uh, dining area of the inn. Um, she is a furball with like pale blue skin and sort of like those um, almost like bovine patches across her face. Uh, she has purple hair that's sort of done in like a bob, almost like rockabilly style. Uh, but she has a massive um, cape and sort of like um, it just like generic adventurer's clothes. But along like any spot that would be metal or rimmed is this like strange star metal that when you look at it almost looks like a galaxy, like you're looking into the sky and it's sort of manipulating. Um, and she has big old furry hooves because I love me a fur bog with some hooves. <laughs> um, and she's generally like like a happy person, but that kind of like melancholy happiness where you're just like, it's like a mask. Um, and she's... She's Goblin King styled contact juggling a <laughs> a clear sphere um, that normally would have her constellation sign in it, uh, but it's almost like symbolic that this is just like a almost like transparent sphere that she's just contact juggling with, mm -hmm. um, and I think she's actually just like watching this interaction between Biscuit and the and the innkeeper, uh, just tickled pink um <laughs> by the like the this tiny mouse who's the greatest wizard in the world <laughs> as you're watching this display you are distracted momentarily as a uh very large very old pug shuffles up towards you oh. and then plops its head down on your hoof oh uh hello there uh what's your name 
Uh, so here's the thing about furballs. <laughs> I can. You do a great pug. I can literally talk to animals and they can hear me. I can't hear them. So <laughs> this this pug understands that I just asked it what's name. It, it looks you directly in the eyes with one of its eyes. The other one's going in a different direction. Um, but there is an intent in that eye. <laughs> is your name Shirley? Is your name Horatio? <laughs> Perhaps <laughs> Judith. The next 20 minutes are just really <laughs> on print names. Yes, this continues on for quite a long time before eventually the innkeeper takes notice and uh, says, uh, the, the old lady's name is Carla. Carla, oh, what a beautiful name. And uh, might I ask how old the young lady is? <laughs> uh, about 13. Oh, wow. So you're... A wise little one, then, aren't you? Plank stare. I don't think it hasn't moved this entire time. It's a pug, so I imagine it's also like my my hoof is now just like covered in slobber. <laughs> oh, it's just a like heaving. <laughs> oh yeah, it's str- it hasn't moved per se, like as in positioning, but it has been struggling to breathe. Mm. Um, <laughs> you, I'm gonna ask the innkeeper. Do you have uh, any specials here? Um, well, we do have a wine that was, uh, distilled by my great, great, great grandmother and is about, uh, probably 250 years old. Wow. Um, I mean, I would be absolutely honored to have some of that if it's 20 gold a glass. I would absolutely be honored to have your cheapest <laughs> glass of wine. Do you have 20 gold? Your eight dollar is no, bottle that's... of wine. Oh, okay. <laughs> whatever yeah. whatever the, is the cheapest wine you have, I would absolutely be honored. All right, all right. I'll go I'll get I'll get you one called the Flappin' Raven. Ah. Uh, sounds It has a little comic of a raven on it doing like a little salute. I will gladly take it and just sort of smile as I sip. <laughs> from it it's very sweet mm. sweeter than it ought to be i'm gonna give the pug a look just a little a little sip of it <laughs> it, it goes <laughs> <laughs> right in my ear holes uh we're gonna stop from and Terra's scene for a little bit and i'm going to announce that we just hit our 200 dollars uh stretch goal our goal yay, yay. yay. Good job, everyone. Mm -hmm. And three minis from Eldritch Foundry are currently in the prize pool for the raffle. Yes, please. Spicy. Moving on. Shelly, the turtle. Where are you? And what are you doing? Okay, so I feel like... Oh, so Shelly is a, like, five foot ten... Turtle, which is like a turtle person. Uh-huh. Turtle. <laughs> turtle. Turtle. It's a turtle tortoise person. It's a mix of turtle yeah. and tortoise. Um, and uh, so on her shell are a bunch of little, just like sharpie scribbles of just like all, like everyone that she meets on her travel. She just kind of like hands the sharpie and they just like write their name. <laughs> That's on the adorable. Back. Um, and. She's carrying like a front backpack because she doesn't want to carry it over her shell because she's really proud of everything. But she's like blundering into the kitchen because she wants to make s'mores on the fire. <laughs> you mean you're like blundering into the main room or do you actually going into the kitchen? Like, I mean, I, we're trying to find s'mores. So if I'm coming in with s'mores, oh, like okay. makings for s'mores, that's cool. <laughs> if not, I will go and try to get the makings for s'mores. Okay, so you as you said, blunder into the kitchen. Um, In here, you see some younger looking halflings who are put to work, just like making some stew, some some, some cornbread and some chili, I think. Perfect. Um, hi, uh, I was just wondering if we we had any, there were s'mores, did like marshmallows and there's do the chocolate if you don't have marshmallows i could do maybe some banana and chocolate and like some little crackers would also be good what's a marshmallow <laughs> no. No. tragic what a world um okay we well, can we can do a banana 
I guess we can do banana. But okay, you really don't know. It's like a sugary, puffy. Uh, it's so good. Sometimes they're made with uh, like egg white and like mallow root to make them like this really good. Okay, can I just have a banana, please? <laughs> and some chocolate. <laughs> sure, they'll Maybe give you. A they'll give you. A, uh, make it. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> To see how much they uh, give you. Yeah, that's oh. true. Uh, they're gonna okay. give you something. They're they're a nice family. Okay. Uh, will they though? <laughs> uh, you said persuasion. Yes. Um, I got a nine. They will give you a single banana and a like a one square of chocolate <laughs> from like a chocolate bar. Okay. Thank, uh, we can work with this. Thank you. Do you have any like a uh, uh bubba tin foil? Or foil? Oh, no. Okay, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> and then she just kind of like backs out slowly out of the no. kitchen and then kind of travels over to the fireplace with her one banana. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Scarlet, Audrey. Yes. What are you doing? Um, I think Scarlet isn't actually in the main room. I think she's got her own room in the inn and you see this very pale um, woman with long, dark, scarlet red hair. And she almost looks human except um, for a, a very slender tail uh, poking out from beneath like a very long and flowing kind of gossamer red gown and two horns uh, that are also just like bone white that arch up around her head almost in a halo but don't quite meet in the middle. And I think you kind of see her in the mirror trying to collect herself before she opens the door and goes out to um, sit by the fire. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to interact with anyone as you're going about your business? I think she is very specifically trying not to interact with it. Ah, actually, you know what? <laughs> Just you know, a very an, thousand yard stare. Make an intimidation up. check for me. Oh. Er. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a nine. Yes. <laughs> so in, in theory, as you're like thousand large staring, like giving off this imposing presence so that no one talks to you, kind of like, you know, when you have earbuds in and you're not actually listening to anything, mm -hmm. which I do all the time. Oh, do um, I know? Yeah. <laughs> um, immediately a young halfling goes up to you and is like, hi. Please leave me alone. Do, wait, wait. I think you're really pretty. Thank you very much. Do you have any games in your bag? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me just, no. Okay. I like bananas. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really young Doubles kid. Doubles down on it. <laughs> why don't, why don't you go bring me a banana? Did I hear bananas? Okay. No. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. I'm, um, I'm Shelly. I got a banana. I'm gonna, to put, I have found this little piece of chocolate and we're gonna stick it in the banana then it's gonna get all melty in the banana. <laughs> Do you want banana? No? No, no. Thank you for okay. sharing. <laughs> I'll sit back down and focus back on figuring out how to roast my banana. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, on her feet are these uh, little heels that are ruby red and they're almost um, kind of like ebbing and flowing like the the deep embers of a fire. I I thought you were going to say you had Heelys on and I was like, That's I have Heelys on. Get ready for <laughs> <Crimson> the <laughs> Heelys. <laughs> flavoring, levitation, flavoring levitation to just be wearing Heelys. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I would like everyone to know that we have hit three hundred dollars. Yeah, baby! Nice. The prize pool has now gone up to four minis and a dice set. So lovely! Yes. Thank you so much, movie. Zach Rolls, for your donation. Very, very generous. You have given uh, advantage to three random players. We will make Ooh. a note. Ooh, woo! Who random? Do I should should I roll that now? 
Uh, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Actually, yeah, you know what? Actually, mm, no. What I'm gonna do? If it's three random players, everyone roll me a d20, and the three highest get it. Oh. oh. Knowing, knowing like my it. luck, this is gonna be oh, no. truly Folks. abysmal. This is gonna be horrible. I got a two. I got a nine. I got a nineteen. <gasps> Jeez. I got a wait. I got a ten. I got ten. So oh. means, I thought I rolled ten. Poorly. Oh, I got ten. I think that's. Uh, this means I get Sarah. it. All right. Yeah. Wah, wah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Moving on. Sprinkles. Where are you and what are you doing? I think Sprinkles uh, probably is taking everything in. Now, Sprinkles, uh, I don't really have an accent picked out for Sprinkles. It's probably going to change throughout the night, as is tradition. But Sprinkles Same. kind of looks like he's got khakis on. He's got a little kind of vest. He's got a little kind of like, like a newsy cap. Uh, he's a lightfoot halfling, so he's like about three-ish feet tall. Uh, and he's at the bar, kind of taking everything in. Uh, and he has a truly chilly glass of chocolate milk. And this is this is like uh, like you got the froth on it, you got the little kind of striped straw. Like this is the genuine good stuff I'm talking here. Uh, and he's just kind of taking everything in. He's just kind of smiling at everything. I mean, Sprinkles enjoys life. Sprinkles, he's a character. I'm imagining Sprinkles sitting on a bar stool, but since he's a halfling, he's just kicking his feet. Oh yeah, he's definitely <laughs> kicking his feet. Uh, he likes to appear taller than he is, so he's got a couple of books under his butt. Uh, so he's like at Ooh. bar level. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what that's what Sprinkles is doing, and he's kind of like kind of cheerily like sipping his uh, hot not hot chocolate, his chocolate milk, uh, kind of Ooh. observing everything. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So all of you have congregated in the main room of the of oh shit, what was it called? The Barley Bed Inn at this point. <laughs> uh, and the uh, halfling family has kind of come out to. You guys are like the only patrons at the moment, so they're kind of about trying to mingle with you occasionally, as did their youngest son try to do with Scarlet and failed. Absolutely not. Speaking of. Uh, the kid does come back with like a full bushel of bananas. <laughs> Hell yeah. I have bananas. It's a lot of bananas. I can see the bananas, yes. It's it's all we have. These are all the bananas you'll have. Wait, until, I, until I've got a question. Is is bananas all you have or are those all the bananas you have? <laughs> this is a good question. We need clarification. Yes. I thought you only well, had that banana. That's a question at all. I went Do you want another there. banana? Yeah. I'm concerned. Absolutely I'm concerned. not. I'll take more bananas. Do you want it? The kid is going to start putting out bananas. And then eventually uh, the innkeeper, who uh, is his aunt, is going to go, OK, uh, that, that, that's going to be enough of that. Uh, you all enjoy your bananas. That's that's too many bananas. Y'all need some fiber. <laughs> you can have the back. I really just need one. I was just trying to share. Can you please take. And, and, and she's like oh. putting the bananas like up in her. I'm trying to like glue them back together. Yes, Put them back and we'll peel. I'll, I'll take a banana. I'll have one. If, if you don't mind, I'll take a banana. Go as good okay. as chocolate milk. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Uh, Are you going to uh, dip it? I don't think that's going to do much for a banana. Maybe it sounds delicious. Um, well, I, I'm, I'm just going to think about that image for a moment. Uh, oh, don't. It's a chocolatey banana. If, if we well, want if, to if it's like a potluck, I got some roasted hazelnuts over here, and then oh, we've I'm got a... some bananas, and then we've got chocolate milk. If you want to throw that in, that's like a whole meal right there. I'm oh, actually I, allergic I... to hazelnuts. Um, well, hey, I'm allergic to bananas. Well, oh, I'm gonna God. screw on down the bar a little bit. I don't know. I'm oh, sitting right no. next to you. I'm sorry about that. I've got this pug. You should come hang out with this pug. If I'm being honest. <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, I did just touch some bananas. So I don't know if I should be like running next to. No, it's not airborne you. or anything. I, if oh, I, well, I'm if gonna. I I'm just... gonna go pet the pug then. Actually, yeah. yeah. This is the nicest group of characters I have ever seen. <laughs> and Scarlet is just like in a living nightmare right now. It's like I came. I came down here. <laughs> really thought it was obvious I wanted to, not to talk to people by the fact I said I don't want to hey, and I, now I'm in the middle of a potluck I still got a uh, does anyone want a round I mean if we're all getting to know each other I could buy a never round. mind I'm 
you guys are cool. <laughs> <laughs> a round of your cheapest wine, please. Or something very, very stiff. A, a, a round of your cheapest, stiffest oh, liquor. I'll, I'll, I'll just take the, 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 the chocolate milk. That's all right. Wonderful. I'll have his. All right. Well, yeah. So, yeah, uh, you spurs around some, uh, what was it, Flapping Raven? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which, again, sweeter than it ought to be. Definitely, like, it tastes like candy in the wrong way. I'm going to, like, and, um, like uh, <laughs> druid craft some juniper berries just to kind of, like, dis- like that nose smell of juniper in, mm-hmm. the, in the wine. Mm-hmm. It's more like a, like a garnish. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Fancy. Can you tell they're on a cocktail podcast? (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. As you all talk and go about your night, some drinking, some eating bananas, some eating chocolate milk. In one way or another, you all all are enjoying (laughs) yourselves. Uh... What is my, is it, are you pacing? Do you eat chocolate milk? <laughs> oh, is that what I said? <laughs> Trying to take bites out of it. Like, <laughs> it's fried. So maybe. Maybe well, it's so, like I mean, a cat. Like if that's cat what I said, then yes. Like I've got like a bowl and I'm just like lapping it up. Oh. my God. <laughs> oh. It's you, you on one end, the pug on the other. <laughs> I love this pug. Oh, no. <laughs> and we're you still all just notice. trying to guess the pug's name. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> you all notice that you can no longer hear the sound of the wind from outside. Ooh. That died down pretty quick. Huh. I thought there was going to be a storm. I, I, I swear I saw it in my evening tea leaves, but I don't know. Do you read futures? Yeah. I do. Yeah. I'm a divination wizard. In fact, the greatest wizard in the world. Perhaps you heard of me, Biscuit Pitter Patter. Oh my goodness, your biscuit pitter patter. Oh, that's wonderful. That's lovely. Yeah, I've been you having a bit of a rough patch lately. I don't know what's going on with my my divination skills. Do you do like like any tarot cards or um do you do any like personal like palm rings or something like that? Yeah. Do you read banana skins? In fact, I don't been have been practicing into banana skin reading. Uh actually, because the tea leaves were were just throwing me off a bit, so if you finish eating a banana, just throw it at me, and, I, and I'll read your future. I've got one right here. His, his oh, that was fast! Wow! <laughs> wow! Really just down the oh. bananas. <laughs> one bite. No chewing. Bite? No. <laughs> I feel like a Griffin McElroy eating it whole. <laughs> yeah, just, just Sprinkles <laughs> ate chocolate milk and drank a banana. Yeah. yeah. Was, Sprinkles <laughs> defies the laws of nature. <laughs> Sprinkles! And I, I stare at the banana peel. A man of intense constitution and no gag reflex. Quite a good uh, <laughs> pattern here. I see fantastical things in your future. In fact, I see that you are missing something. Missing, missing something. Missing a lot of things. A journey is before you. A journey to to re-encompass this missing piece of yourself is right at your feet. And then I drop the banana peel at his feet. Is, <laughs> and is this mouse hitting on him? <laughs> no gag. Almost right? on cue. Right? Like, what? You can start to hear the sound of a waterfall. Oh. Or something that sounds like a waterfall. Well, I've kind of go, got to go take a whiz real quick, actually. This is kind of <laughs> make me a little, uh, a little filled up. Oh, a lot of chocolate milk. We'll be right back, folks. Wait, is he hitting on her back? Him, I'm a like him. Kind of... I, I don't think we should let them alone in the bathroom together. I mean, oh. why not? Um, but yeah, also, yeah, did I a mean... pipe burst? If there is, like, I'm hearing water. I think their pipes are about to burst, if you know what I'm saying. Ah. What's that? No. Uh, Nothing. <laughs> what? I look outside. Yeah. Oh, sprinkles. You look outside. Don't you sprinkles me. Well, oh, sprinkles, sprinkles, you're about to go outside to go to the outhouse. Oh, perfect. Correct. There are no facilities here? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's an the building? What? That's unsanitary. Why do you want you want you want your your you want your poop hole in the same place as your food hole? Why would you want that? Bring back the outhouse, people. This is the <laughs> rally. Or is this? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah going, I'm going out to the outhouse, uh, to the chocolate milk cow as well, to kind of like, you know, 
get the chocolate milk from the chocolate milk cow on the same kind of trip, you know, got the glass. Because as we all know, it comes from, a chocolate milk comes from a brown cow. Yeah, it exactly. brown spots, yep. Yeah. So as Sprinkles goes outside and Shelly looks out the window, you notice that the sky is very dark. In fact, it has somewhat of a greenish tint to it. And the once you exit, the kind of roaring of that sounds like a waterfall is just getting louder over time. Does my danger sense go off? Hmm, I would say not yet. Yet? A keyword! <laughs> <laughs> yet? In fact, as you not till you're alone you with biscuit. that the clouds above you have kind of a circular pattern to them. <laughs> it's kind of strange. I'm gonna go, uh, go take a piss. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. Oh, privy. Really uh, have to pee. Got Mr. it. Mr. Pitter Patter, do you ever, um, do you ever do any divination with the uh, constellations, the celestial bodies? In fact, that is my main area of expertise. Stargazing. I. Uh... I thought it was banana peels. <laughs> no, no, just started into banana peels from the tea leaves. You know, I wasn't finding success there. I would love to attempt oh. to read your uh, your constellation and get some feedback. I've been struggling a bit as of late. I, oh. Uh, folks, it, I don't think you're going to be able to see the stars. What do you mean? I've, oh, uh, Shall we? I've always got access to the stars. Don't you mind? Uh, I'm gonna attempt. Okay. I'm gonna start ritual. Okay. I'm gonna start ritual casting augury, but if I get interrupted, that's fine. <laughs> As I'm like, I'm How fucking contact juggling. The te- uh, 11, <laughs> a- eleven minutes of contact juggling. What is so, it, Fushi? <laughs> As you're, <for sure. laughs> just fucking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wow. Just give me a sec. It's. I gotta. Ooh. I gotta talk to the stars. Give me about for eleven. Eleven. Ten minutes. to eleven minutes. Very in depth. Uh, Process. It's so I'm, I'm missing here. It's a, it's a, once, okay, well, it's got to get thrown on the wrist and then. But during the time. <laughs> <laughs> during the time. Such a long time. That you are doing uh, your ritual, and while Sprinkles is using the outhouse, uh, you find the wind has picked up. Uh, accelerated to a much higher than anticipated speed, and you are suddenly in a heavily obscured dust cloud that is swirling through the entirety of the area around the inn. And sprinkles as you open the door once you finish your business, you find that you can't see where you are, and oh, the no. wind is very strong. Well, this isn't good at all. Oh, I can't even see my hands. Oh, gee. <laughs> what do you do? Go Oh, can I see my hands? Well, you can see your hands because they're right oh. in front of you, but you can't see the inn even though it's only like 30 feet away. Oh no, the inn ran away. <laughs> I can't deal with Kelly over here staying in character this whole <laughs> um, can I? I'm going to start walking in the direction of the inn, I guess, okay. where I remember it being. Yeah, you remember it being, uh, it's, I'm going to count this as like difficult terrain, but it's not hard enough where it like pushes you off your feet or anything. Um, What I am going to have you make is either a perception or investigation check to make sure that you actually find it. Uh, I'll also accept survival because you could like trace steps or something. Um, Okay, let's do perception. I'm giving you a wide variety of things because I don't want you to fail that bad. (laughs) Uh, Well, (laughs) knowing, knowing my luck. You could always use your advantage. I could. True. But, but that's not fun. Do you want to waste it this early? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll do. I'll do a survival check. Mm. A five. That's a five. <laughs> um. So sprinkles as you're walking, and the wind gets stronger, and the whooshing of the roaring gets louder. You find that you're as you're walking, your feet are no longer on the ground. You're walking through the air. As you have been picked up. Sprinkles is still walking. <laughs> still like making the motions even it's though. It's Looney like, Tunes. Not you don't know around. until you look. You're not going to fall yeah. until you look down. <laughs> this is a little odd. And the rest of you inside the Barley Bed End feel a sudden shake as the entire building oh, cracks God. and creaks. And you, 
after that large commotion, you start to feel a little. Well, I got As the building itself is moving. Oh God, we're in motion. I I don't know what that means. I don't think I did that. You never see the tornado because it is too big. Uh, um, <laughs> is everyone who's like the family who lives here? Are they okay? Are they, oh, no. they're like, they're like, oh God, here we go again. <laughs> again. 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 Is this is habitual. They, they all hide underneath the bar in like these little like little safes, and there's one individual one for each of them beneath the bar. If I, I may, did, are there may. extra safes? I, uh, no, recommend using the sailor or something. I just met this pug 10 minutes ago, but I will kill anybody that harms it. So I'm going to cover it with my body. <laughs> I like to imagine that Sprinkles is probably just whipping around outside of this building, like passing by the window, like, oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you actually oh. also see an owl bear uh, doing the same thing, like paddling like a dog in water past Sprinkles, and it goes, as it passes oh. by you. <laughs> oh, hey there. Can I, Growl. can I, uh, am I like next to this owlbear? Is this going to attack me? It, it, no, it wasn't like close enough for that. It was enough for it to acknowledge you. If oh, is it like on the other side of like the, uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> it's been like that. circling each other. All right. Uh, I'm going to need everyone to make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, oh God. Sam, <laughs> because you are outside, you have disadvantage, but you also have dangerous. That 20, you, baby. You have a normal Whoa. roll. Okay. <laughs> I got a 13. Nine. Man, what the heck? Nine. <laughs> Me too. We're meant to be. What? Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, the, if, did you succeed in Terrace? I got a nat 20. Uh, then yes. Ooh, well, I was yeah. asking to like check if the pug succeeds. Uh, so anyone who got less than a 13 fails and is not prone and takes three points of damage. Ow. Less than a what? Uh, less than a 13, one three. So if I got a 13, I'm Then you okay. succeed. <laughs> Sick. I just, you you I can go in your shell or something, or you, if you want. You know, yeah, you know just, like, I like go in my floor. shell, and it's just like sliding around the house. <laughs> Whoa, I, I ain't seen nothing like that like since a Koopa. Roomba. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I still have my backpack on my front, too, so I am sweeping a little bit. <laughs> 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 one of the halflings goes like, that's mighty convenient. <laughs> <laughs> and as you are all freaking out, as everything is moving, shifting, you can't tell what's on, you realize that you can feel how high up you are. You, that like innate fear of knowing that if you drop, you are not going to be okay. And then you wake up. Whoa! You're in the inn, still. You don't know how any of you fell asleep or so. Uh, but the Barley Bed Inn is now in disarray. Broken glass and spilled booze covers the tavern floor, and no furniture is where it should be. But amazingly, you are all merely just banged up. Am I outside? Sprinkle. Uh, Sprinkle, you wake up in, in darkness. And you, you're like covered <laughs> and stuff. It's the afterlife. <laughs> you don't know where you are. You just know that you're like, you're, you're probably like buried or something because you feel pressure from all the Oh, I am panicking right now. <laughs> and I just start screaming really loud. Oh, don't um, worry, I'll save in the, you. Yeah, in the distance you guys are. I feel like I'm like. I'm like sleeping under a table right now and the pug is just like licking my face to wake me wake me up. Uh oh. I think. Yeah, Carla is unfazed. Oh right. Uh hey oh that was uh quite a ride there, wasn't it, Carla? Yeah, that's right. Stoic as ever. A, a beautiful creature if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I think somebody is 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 not here. I think somebody Unfortunately, was outside during the tornado. Like slowly pop my head up, and I'm like, "Where did he go?" Oh, Shelly, thank God you're okay. I don't know. Uh, they never came back from going pee. Can I? Can I try to uh, uncover myself? Yes, you can make an athletics check. 
Oh boy, well that oh, that's gosh. with a plus zero because I'm not raging right now. <laughs> Oh, uh, gotta love yeah. level three characters. <laughs> it is a nat twenty though, so Ooh, you, you yes. did yourself. Oh. I'll do. Just like hand out of the dirt, <laughs> kill Bill style. <laughs> yeah. And you find yourself that you are still surrounded by crops, but the color is different, as if the grain is literally made of gold. Of course. I think the grain is literally made of gold. Did anyone hear that? I heard a, I heard a distant call from someone outside. I think I'm gonna pee on it a little too hard. <laughs> oh no, that's a shame. But you know, if it sprouts, you're pregnant. That's what? a medieval. I'm pregnant. sorry. Ah! I'm pregnant. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, oh no. <laughs> what? Oh. Sarah, tell me more. <laughs> yeah, can we talk I about this? Certainly hope now? not. As like a birth control <laughs> test in the 1800s, you would pee on corn, and if it like flowered, then you were pregnant. And it actually would work to like 80% effectiveness. Holy yes. what? Wow, okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, That's... is the corn flowering? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm concerned. Uh, Are you yes. pregnant? Yes, it is. <laughs> Boys, I think I'm having a baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is incredible. I've never um, actually been with anyone in my life. I'm like the Virgin Mary. <laughs> oh my lord! I love the idea that it was just like coincidentally flowering. <laughs> I got super excited. You were excited. like, I knew it. <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, a dad. Uh, uh, yeah, like I'll, I'll, I'll get up and I'll go and I'll around, walk around and I'll I'll check in and be like, Hey Scarlet, are you okay? You uh, can have some Scar of my banana, but I squished it a little bit when I got scared, and it's just mush <laughs> in my hand. Oh. Sorry, I just knocked my table. Um, I think Scarlet like has not moved. Still sitting in the same chair, just like, like a might as well happen. So I'm just <laughs> Are you gonna take some banana? Actually no. You know I thought about the but the Okay. That's gross. So I Wanna go check out the screaming outside? I'm alright. <sighs> I think he's dead. I suppose I should. This is the sound of a corpse bubbling, I think. A I kicked down the bubbling. door. Well, oh, I know hello, this everyone. Is, I can get. <laughs> See, it's no corpse. Not the corpse. Okay. Oh, thank Starlet. God you're alive! I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this. I'm alive? I'm gonna give this majestic creature back to the owners of the inn. Carla has uh, been. Once a... you put it down, it flops down onto the floor. <laughs> what, a, what a beautiful entity that I have been honored to see. Uh, where the heck are we? I don't know, but I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Oh, I don't know. I was wondering who was going to say it. It's supposed to be Innkeeper. Uh, Innkeeper, you said this has happened before? Uh, there's, there, you could just hear a voice coming out of the safe, just being like, once or twice, we just wait for the second one to come. Okay, well, how long until the second one comes? Like, a week or two. A week or two, and you just sit in here the whole time? Uh, we, we always keep food stuff out for this. What's up there? Do you have food for us or is it I don't just know. We don't this... we don't leave the house. Okay, this is my final question. How much money would I have to give you to take your dog? <laughs> um I mean, are you sure you want him? He's pretty old. How about don't a crisp high five? Do you have like a little basket or just a, a just a crisp carrying? high five? Take five gold. Let's how start. about how about two gold? She's very old, could die any minute. I do not want to buy the dog. I'm gonna uh, nudge Scarlet and be like, hey, I think those like corn cobs out there are pretty gold. We could just grab some of that and give them that for the dog. I wouldn't touch All that. Right, I think I peed on it. <laughs> I have I have enough gold to buy Carla. I I feel like you do not honor I'm just this noble beast. As much she as is a noble beast. I'm just saying. I, I do not have a lot of money. I have ten things gold happen. On my I do not have the resources I used to. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give these fine innkeepers six gold. Now you, wow. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring Carla with us, and we're gonna have uh, just the best time. And I. Like, oh, I'm sorry for trying to get you a deal. I start tearing up a little bit. <laughs> Carla will have an incredible life. Yeah, I'm gonna love her so much. Can I um go? <laughs> can I go to the kitchen and find a pot and like put a blanket in it to carry Carly? Yes, Aww. yes you can. What a beautiful, uh, 
and noble creature we have acquired today. I cast floating disc. Oh my god. <laughs> oh She's my god. god. You know? You cast floating disc. So now I'm assuming we have a pot with a old pug in it floating around. And it's a small floating disc. It's meant just to be for the pug. I'm going to druid craft a daisy chain crown for Carla. Wow, you guys are really doing the most. Do you guys want me to toll the dead this doll? No. <laughs> we I must. don't have any I don't have anything wholesome. Don't fucking kill the dog. That's not wholesome at all. It was a joke. Your love for That's the point. Your love for Do you this... think I would have bought the dog if I would just kill it? Your no. love for this honorable I don't know you at all. is more than anyone can ever hope for. It's a nice dog. It's a nice dog. We should it's find out where dog. we are so we can get out of here. We have to get this dog home. But, but to do that, we need this to know where we are. Or, or, Whoa. or, or, just wait the week. I don't like want to wait a week. Carla doesn't have the time. Well, <laughs> Scarlet. Carla's Scarlet. gonna die. Scarlet, you hear a voice. It appears we've returned. Oh, fuck off. Hello. Find the wizard. Oh, do I have to? He can bring me back. Find him. Well, could be helpful. All right. Let's go find the wizard. Not your biscuit. It's no wait. Give me a minute. It's not biscuit. Right? I'm the wizard. It's me. No, I'm not talking to you yet. No, it's not the mouse. <laughs> no. Okay. Wizard I am looking for is not the mouse. No, I am the greatest wizard in the world. It has well, to be me. <laughs> I don't need the greatest wizard in the world. I need like the greatest wizard of the tri-state area or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. Like, like the Let's greatest find, wizard Jeff. did getting his home and win like, stuff. Like, That'd be good. Too. Right? That's right. what I'm saying. Uh, do you guys go to start your journey? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> the strange land. 51 sure. minutes into the one shot. I think it's time to let's okay. get going. I <laughs> any like signs or anything outside, or are we just wandering <clears throat> blind outside of the house? Actually, once you exit, once you all exit the house, you hear a voice go, "Hey, hey, yo." Well, us? Hi. You guys look Hello. around. Oh, hey there. See anything? Oh, yeah, you up here. And up. you look around and you notice a scarecrow with like a jack o' lantern for a head, like a kind of like 12 feet tall, and it's like pitched to the thing. Um, it doesn't appear to be animate, but it seems like the voice is coming from it. You can't park your house here. It's not my house. I do not care. We didn't no. mean this. This wasn't us. This just happened. I think you can't park it here. It's a handicap zone. You got to move it. We, we can't move it? That's what we're this trying dog to do. No, you gotta move it. This dog's pretty no. Can you move our This house? dog is very handicapped. Hey, they, they don't pay me to move people's houses. They pay me to tell people to move the houses, okay? Hey, well then what are you gonna do if we don't move the house? I'm gonna report you. Do you have okay, like well, a, like a, is there like a house tower? Is there- Somebody who tows like, houses? So we're just looking for a wizard to help us tow our house. Yeah, not That's the, probably the wizard. wizard though. The it's not wizard. even our house, it's an inn. You take oh, it up with the innkeeper. Yeah, it's, it's not, not a house. Good. What kind of houses do you see laying here? In in is just a temporary house. It's still a house. That is really deep. Is it isn't our bodies just temporary houses? If you think about it, I mean, Holy you're shit, here I don't in your house quest anymore, and Shelly just and like, snacks for like a <laughs> <Yeah. day. laughs> no. all along. Home is where the heart is, so your real home is in your chest. Wait, I got an idea. Can you? That's kind of terrifying. Can you distract this upset scarecrow for like? Ele Absolutely. Ele 11, 11 minutes. minutes? <laughs> Hello, Scarecrow, sir. Would I'm, you like I'm, to well. hear about um, this pug named Carla? Carla is very old. Car this is going to be the whole time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Carla is old pug with a uh, squished face, cannot breathe well, will die any moment. Carla is, well, you know what? She's got a lot of like uh, flabby bits. Like, you know, the, the rolls. She has a lot of rolls. You know what? Let's go ahead. I'm going to count it so I can give you like an accurate picture because you're way up there. It's really hard to see. So, okay. So this one, two. Okay. Three, okay. 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 I'll, okay. I'll wait. No, no. I'll wait. But the these rolls are kind of like two no. together. What do you think? Please. Mean? I'm going to count it as two. Please. Five. I'm going to be. I'm going to ritual seven, cast Skyrite to write eight, handicap parking temporarily moved for one week. 
just slightly oh, to the left so of the, uh, where the yeah. inn is parked good, right now. Good, good. I have never seen Skyrite used in a game. This is brilliant. <laughs> I've never seen this great. used effectively. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, the, the scarecrow goes, wait, what is that? Uh, wait. I think the government um, was... <laughs> put, uh, they planned on putting that up there for... Let, let's be honest, the last six months, they've been planning to put that up there, and um, I'm, for I'm what? part of the government, so I just... You're part of the government. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go double check this with my superiors. Don't move. I'll be back in like six Wait, hours. Could right, you I point think we or what? Move. Where the uh, wizard is, though? Yeah. Um, towards like the part of the horizon that's weirdly shining. Perfect. We won't go there. We'll wait till you get back, and then we'll go there. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks. Uh, oh, and you notice at the top of the jack o' lantern starts, boop, 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 and it pops off, and then a crow flies out of it. <gasps> Uh, with a cigarette in its mouth. <laughs> and it goes, it's a pleasure to meet you all. I'll be right back. <laughs> no, that's why they're called scare crows, because they got crows in them. Oh, yeah. yes. okay. we makes leave? no sense. I think we should leave. Gone? I think we, yep, let's go. Let's get out of here. I don't right? know if I can leave this spot. I just feel like... I'm not the greatest wizard anymore. We're all looking for this other wizard, and I'm just biscuit. Biscuit. I would like to biscuit. pick a biscuit and put them in pot with yeah, Carla. Go hang out with Carla. <laughs> okay. Biscuit, it's okay. You don't need to be the greatest wizard in the world because maybe greatness is all relative, right? Because if you think about it, nothing really matters. This life, this is all—it's all a show. We're all going to die and then go into some horrible oblivion, and this abyss will just consume us all. So, does it really matter, anyways? Sprinkles is exactly right, I will say. Yep. 100%. Okay. Because socialism is wrong. Listen, Biscuit, we're on different world. Maybe you are just not the greatest wizard of this world. Or any. Maybe you are just mediocre wizard of all worlds. What? That's pretty impressive. You can be the most <laughs> average wizard on every single world. Okay, I think we're gonna start walking now, eh? Okay, let's you go. You wanna sing a little walking right. song? Yeah. Oh. One foot in front of the we're other. Off to Look, witness the corn. wizard. Absolutely not. I do not sing. Wizard wizard not for you. Oh, oh, I prefer no. death metal, honestly. Anybody oh, got any death no, metal? No, please, no, thank you. Wizard of Mer. <laughs> Get through the court. <laughs> this is the my nightmare. This is the worst case scenario. I just want to say someone anonymously donated twenty dollars, and all they put in the comment was for Carla. Yes, <laughs> for Carla. Carla, Carla has advantage on something. Yeah, Car if Carla's the only one to survive in this entire one shot, I think we won. Our yeah. mission is done. Yeah. Agree. All yeah. right, onward. You move on we do. to the word <laughs> as you uh, venture through the ever fields of golden grain and make your way towards a shimmering, um, it's kind of like not really a rainbow per se, but there are like rainbow-esque parts of the sky on one specific part of the, the uh, horizon. And whenever you look over there and like make direct eye contact at it, you can kind of hear like a, oh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, Alex, could I lead the way? Sure. I you do like a little like kick line, like in Wizard of Oz. Absolutely yeah. not. I love even though our heights are so line, different. Not skipping. <laughs> we're doing a kick line. Yeah, no <laughs> kick line. It's like a, yeah. the, the can can, but we're moving forward with each with each kick. I don't even know how that would work. And I'm just power walking. walking like thirty feet ahead of them. <laughs> Just, Great. No. This is Great. brought jolly. I love this. It's mm. gonna be a nice time. I don't know why we put the shortest people on each on the outside of the kick line. I can't even reach it. I'm grabbing onto your thigh, and whenever you kick, I'm gonna fall off a little bit. I feel like I'm supporting a lot of you. It's And we make it there. We're off to yeah! witness the wizard. You know, yeah, end of game. We did it, guys. Before, you don't make it to the shimmering area yet. Instead, after uh, probably like half an hour of walking, you find yourself to a quaint little village uh, oh. with a sign that says Vesterland. 
And Just as you walk in, you see animated pumpkins walking mm. around. Wow. Oh my goodness. Pumpkins. You know, we just mm -hmm. met a pumpkin man earlier. <laughs> no, we didn't. We met first <laughs> man earlier. These are pumpkin people. It Can had a look? pumpkin on its head. Can we see if there's pump if there's birds? Are you saying all there? pumpkins look the same to you? Well, that's not very good. That's not good. Question, how do you plan on seeing if there's birds inside? Um, just look up directly I guess in the I'm eye hole. Go up and say hello <laughs> and just kinda look in. Uh, you look at a pumpkin that just has eye holes and no mouth, and it just stares at you. But there's nothing behind. It's looking at me with a dead, empty glare. It starts signing at something at you with, like, vine hands. Ooh. Does anyone speak pumpkin? Uh, I can technically speak to plants. I don't know what the, what the oh, heck they're saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can speak uh, Sylvan, Primordial, Common, and Infernal. Oh, that's a lot of the things I can speak. I want to speak oh. abyssal. I think the speaking with plants is probably the best thing to do. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna kneel down. I'm gonna be like, well, hey, hey there, little orange fella. Um, we're uh looking for some sort of uh wizard. I think the Valentine said. Um, yes, I need to find the wizard. And you seem to be in the path of finding that wizard. Do you help us with the direction of where the wizard may or may not be? You guys don't need to come with me to find the wizard. Like, I can do this on my own. I mean, in, this, fact, this it would, in fact, it would be preferred. I mean, that, that, those, the, the neglectful innkeepers do not interest me as Carla is clearly worthy of love and affection. Uh, have you seen Carla, little pumpkins? Look, I'm going to pull the, the disc with the pot of Carla and Biscuit and, like, show Hi. the pumpkin. This they is all move not closer the, to look not at Carla. it. That's his biscuit. <laughs> Carla is pug. These are look. my two friends, Carla and Biscuit. Um, and I'm Sprinkles. Yeah, I got a lot of friends. I met a lot of people Hi, today. Shelly. Uh, one more gangly pumpkin uh, you notice is uh, recognizes what you're saying and starts writing something on a piece of bark oh, with like cool. a with like a little jagged piece of wood and turns calligraphy. towards it and it says to you, "Beware the beast." Uh, that is not worrying at all. I will of... be aware of the beast. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you very much, pumpkins. And I hope that um, come harvest time, you are not mulched up into a delicious pie. And I hope that you live the rest of your life until you decay and uh, feed the earth with your uh, various bacterium and life forces. I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts on Carla. <laughs> if just, we a, are... just a flat line like <laughs> she's the beast listen they said Carla they the beast. is the beast Carla's gonna fucking murder us uh, you set, cast the tech thoughts on Carla and it's just like sausage oh, I think I Same. just read the situation <laughs> What's up? did you think you what? thought Carla was the beast I don't know they were, they were speaking in such Look at this tones. Look at look at look at Carlos. Throw something down. Look into Carlos's eyes. Look into Carlos's mind. You think Carla is the beast? I'm gonna Carla push can't deeper. Breathe properly. I <laughs> <can't> <laughs> <listen. Yeah. laughs> Do we wisdom saving throw? From we have Carla. to carry Carla. Carla cannot walk. We are carrying her around in pot. Listen. You think we need to beware? You never know. There might be something inside her. I'm going to push it deeper into the brain. What, of puppies? <gasps> she have to make a, a save for that? Yes. So she has to make oh, no. a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> it's not painful. I'm just delving into the, her mind. Funny. That's funny. That's one. Mind of steel. And now she's aware <laughs> that we've been trying this, to dive this deeper. This yeah. pod's brain is impenetrable. <laughs> Okay. Alex is just advantage for that one. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. Think it's fine. Um, sorry, Carla, and I'll give her little ear scratches. Whoa, whoa, wait! Can you read people's minds? Yeah, what? I'm a divination wizard. I'm the well. I used to be the best. I don't know. Oh, if you could maybe not do that to me, I would really appreciate that. Yeah, that'd be yes, really good. Yes, if you do that to me, there will be consequences. Yeah. No, I, I, I feel I, I, like that's a bit of a boundary. I mean, you can do I've that got, to me, but got some got some private thoughts, you know. Yeah. Yes. About, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. What? What? What was that? What were you going to say, Biscuit? I didn't say anything. 
It's a biscuit. Biscuit. What? We're come Look on. Look at Carla. We're... Isn't she so cute? Oh, Carla oh. is very cute. You are You're deflecting, aren't you? Oh my god, look, she's sleeping! Look at her little, <laughs> little, little nose twitch oh, while she snores. Oh, she's a baby. And Terrace oh. is just weeping again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so cute. We gotta this make a this Carla is... domain. Carla domain yeah. cleric. Yeah. This dog is gonna become a god at this point because yes. we're worshiping it so much. Right. Good. Where can we uh, find the wizard? Does anyone know? I think the light that we've been following, that? that when we look at it, we hear an angelic choir. I, I'm, not, I'm not the greatest wizard in the world. My mind is not a steel trap of knowledge and intellect. But the thing that when we look at, we hear the choir singing might be the thing we're going towards. Where, okay. where, give me a moment, everybody. I need to ask a question. Okay. Where do we find the wizard? The thing I just said. Oh, were you talking to someone oh. else? I'm not talking to Are you. Are you on the Where other line we... right now? Shh, 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 shh. Excuse me. This is an A B conversation. See your way out of it. Oh, that's good. I've got to remember that one. Where sprinkles? What did I just say? <laughs> You're the other. Scene. You said this is an A B conversation. You could see where it's really clever. <laughs> I really like My it. Name I'm starts really with a. Does book. that count? No. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Area is where do I find the wizard? Wow, is he picking up? What I'm sorry, what one more time? There's some interference. Go home. Oh, fuck. all right. <laughs> well, great news, everyone. I know where we're going. Okay, where are we going? Is it towards the angelic we fire that we hear when we look at the light? Kind of, yeah. Okay, cool. cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's keep I going. Uh, let's like I didn't need to call anyone to know that, but all right. No. Well, uh. <laughs> what? What? All right. How do you pronounce your name? Uh... <laughs> Existential oh, no. crisis. She starts weeping again. <laughs> oh, no. Right, right. All right. That's what I thought. Anyway, follow me. Continue the kick line I onwards. No. We're off to witness the caster, the wonderful caster of Mur. 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 It sounds wow. like you're like. No. Yeah. It's like most French in Quebec. But it feels like, hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't um, insult my people. As you guys continue, you. <laughs> move into a dark shadowy forest. Ooh, spooky. Um, you actually hear that in the distance. You hear a voice go, ooh, spooky. Um, and me. I am along spookier. the way, you hear a uh, commotion from in front of you on the path. Hello there. Oh, I'm no, oh, I give it back. <laughs> this, this mine you need. Uh, and you, you see a, uh, what appear to be animated or awakened trees playing keep away with a box of cigarettes from a familiar crow. Oh, you see, I I thought I... you said animated like you meant animated like drawn. And I was really confused. <laughs> I was like, wow, we're really leaning into this over the garden wall thing, aren't we? But There's okay. stop motion. It makes hey, so wow. much sense. That's mine. <laughs> no, Guys, no, if, if somebody if tries to fly towards it, they just throw it away from him. Quickly walk by. He is very distracted. Maybe we can get away. Go, 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 go. Mull walk. Oh, but he's Stealth in a checks. pickle. He's in a pickle. Oh, we should probably help checks. him. Oh, um, no, it's okay. I... We don't need to help him. Can right. I roll inside to see if this is bad? <laughs> see uh, if they, I can tell who the bad guy is in this situation in a fictionalized uh, universe? 21 stealth. 19 stealth. 20 stealth. Jesus. I'm just floating on the disc, so We're I got a great. 10. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, they're like. <laughs> <laughs> Four stealth. Oh, wait. Carla needs to roll. No, oh, no, not Carla. If she, I'll give like, Carla advantage. Parts at the wrong moment. Carla's oh, going to yeah, get you know what? I'm going to use my advantage for this. I'm going to use one of my advantages. Oh, I got a 15. Why not? I turned my four into a 17. Jeez. Nice. That's And what did you get for game. insight? Um, I got a three. Okay, so you can't really tell what's going on here. No. You, It's strange people in a strange land behaving in a strange way. Um, but you all manage to very easily just sneak around them. 
and they are none the wiser. See, it's bad. easy. Well, no, it is fine. I know many trails around here. We can just keep going. I was, Wait, I was trying to figure out before? what they were saying, and I, I have no idea. Well, how do you think I know where I am going? I do not have Again, GPS in my brain. When I look What's directly GPS? at the light, a choir in my mind sings to me. I feel like a lot of us don't need to know where we're going to be able to follow that. It could be a trap. How we could all before? be heading into our impending doom, bro. Damn. Well, you know what? Uh, we are going to my home. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, your house must be so spooky. Well, no, it's actually cinders right now. My my house is ash. Oh, that's rather unpleasant. Yeah, no, it was not a pleasant experience. I can I can tell you that. So I'm I'm gonna guess you don't have any um chocolate milk. <laughs> no? <laughs> Hot chocolate maybe, raw, because it's little it's it's I have a little bit of mashed banana. <laughs> oh, oh well, I'll take that, actually. Okay. It, it's just, like, liquid that's just attached to my hand at this point. Well, yeah. I, I already drink bananas, so this is oh, fine. Oh, yeah, this is, this, is, this is easy. You're ready This for is it. easy. Yeah. yeah, just go on. Perfect. There yeah. you go. Slurp that's that banana. banana. <laughs> <laughs> ah! All right. Onwards. Down the <laughs> path. Oh, you do move down the path, um, and you don't seem to interact with anything else until you reach the end of the forest, and you come across a very large field of flowers, um, specifically like a reddish tinted flower, um, and it kind of smells like blood. What? Mm. Oh. I was going for lemon poppy seed. That is not what I was <laughs> expecting. Kind of a familiar smell over here. And you notice that there are people in yep, the field same. wearing plague doctor masks, picking the flowers and putting them in baskets. Of course, this doesn't smell like flowers do. My, uh, hmm. my family is a bunch of uh, blacksmiths and it kind of smells reminiscent of that, like iron smell. That oh, it's blood. Oh, oh it's blood. Yes, oh, yes, oh. yes, yes, it's blood. Yep, it's, it's blood. blood. Ah, I guess. Um, uh, do, uh, we just kind of once again avoid the, the creepy individuals what are harvesting the flowers that smell like this. Blood? How do they smell like blood? But are they listen, water? can I pick a flower? I don't know, but they are yes, wearing masks. Should we be wearing masks? Uh, make a constitution saving program. I know a lot that. of people uh, okay. who have decided to not wear masks in the last two years. So. I don't know why. It's very <laughs> tough for them. Too We're real. establishing Too real. ourselves as aging maskers. <laughs> uh, that's a 17. Okay. Uh, I got uh, 18. It is, it doesn't, like blood on its own <laughs> smells like iron, but there's something about it where it just feels wrong and it's nauseating to you. Um, I think I'm going to go so throw up. 17 and 18, you guys, if you had failed, you would have been poisoned. Ooh. But you're not. Um, but you immediately understand, oh, that's probably why they're wearing masks. They are just too strong. <laughs> These aren't very good at all. Listen, I got uh, herd immunity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> I take oh. out um, oh, materials. I'm just going to hold my fucking breath. I can just hold my breath for an hour. I'm just going to hold wow. my breath. Wow. wow okay. Are you kidding on me? Weird flex. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> wait, wait. A bunch what of, about corn? Of uh, material no, from my pack. And I'm going to start fashioning masks. And I'm going to do my own oh mask my first. Because that's what you're supposed to do. And then I'm going to do Carla. And then I'll pass good, out good. the material to the rest of us. Uh, So do you have proficiency in like weaver tools or anything like that? Um, I have weavers. Uh, no, I have tinkers tools. Um, I could say you can do that with tinkers tools. Okay. Uh, Cause you have them and this is a one shot. So <laughs> let's say intelligence with proficiency. Okay. I'm just gonna try and make some masks here. Hold on one second. Uh, okay. Holy shit, I'm gonna use my advantage cause that was a cat <laughs> one. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, with proficiency and 19. 
You don't just make masks, you make adorable masks. <laughs> Everybody Each one's themed. I embroidered them, here you go. Whoa. That was really insanely fast. I don't know how you did that in under six seconds. <laughs> well, so insane. My family used to work for this this woman that needed dresses made for her that would like expire by midnight. It was intense. Wow. <laughs> You're like the greatest weaver in the world. Thank That's you. what you wanted, the right? The greatest weaver of the all weaver. time. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what, what, uh, what do each of the masks have on them if you've got them all embroidered? Oh, yeah. Um, so for Shelly, we've got um, an intricate uh, octagonal pattern on it. It's very reminiscent of your shell. Um, sprinkles, there's... I didn't know what to do for you, so there's just some uh, hearts and, and fireworks on it. I don't know. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> Valentine, um, Scarlet, you're, you're very strong. So for you, I figured that you needed some deep angles and abstract shapes to really bring out that that ferocity that I feel you imbibe. Um, and for me, it's just some, some hazelnuts. And Carla, of course, of course, it's just her own mouth embroidered onto the mask. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I feel like Carla, as you can see, like inhaling and exhaling. <laughs> like wavering back and forth. Yep. Fantastic. So, with the masks, you guys easily make your way across the field of flowers. So you get some strange looks from the people working them at the moment, but you make your way over to the city. The city of bones. Oh. Oh, boy! Yay. Why was hey. it so sparkly? Oh, no, you can still see sparkling of it, but as you get closer, the sparkling deepens in color and turns from like initially what was like purples and pinks into like a darker red and like black undertones. Nice. Spooky. Mm -hmm. So should we just knock? Is that... Do I just... have... Uh, no, I have a key. You... You... Li okay. Do you want to use your key? I use my key. <laughs> you go up I to the front walk door up. of the gate, put the key in, unlock, and open. And that is we're gonna we're gonna take our break. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. We'll be back hey. in ten minutes. Until Ooh. then, continue to donate. You can affect the game. Um, as little as ten dollars gets you into our prize pool. We are only eighty dollars away from adding the final prize. Right now, we have. I think it's three minis and two dice sets out. I think it's four minis. Holy, four minis. they just wow. keep coming. Wow, well, so minis so and many dice. Minis. Yeah. Uh, donate and help survivors of sexualized violence achieve the support that they need. And we'll see you in 10. Be right by you. Bye. 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 Welcome back, everyone, to the land of Moor. <laughs> I want to remind everyone that we are only $45 away from our final goal for tonight. This is amazing! Hell yeah! The oh link is God. in the chat. Please, please donate for the pug. If we get to that $400, Carla, I'm sure our lovely DM will do something special for her. But also for her. everyone watching, uh, you donating are have the chance to win five minis and a dice set. That's insane. Thank you so oh, much. Yeah. That is a wild. Lot. Thank that you, Eldritch Foundry and Only Crits for sponsoring our stream. We really, really appreciate it. Um, and someone already donated. We're even closer to the goal. Hey. Oh, oh my Ooh. goodness. You're so close. Uh, let's make it there before the end. And um, I have a wild magic surge that I now have oh. to do. Yes. But do we want to do, do wanna... that now or do we want to have that you call it at an appropriate moment? Alex? No, I'm going to narratively be like, as you open the door <laughs> as you and open look the in door. to see your home for the first time oh. in about a month I'm or so. I'm seeing my home for the first time. <laughs> 
<laughs> Suddenly, burr, 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 <laughs> a wild magic surge. I'm ready. All right. Strange, Are you mysterious rolling it, magic. Char? I've just coalesces. rolled a hundred and I got sixty-seven. You got so close. Sixty-seven. <laughs> Okay, so it depends. Where is everyone standing? Oh, God! Because I think you guys are uh, group. You're on the right. kick line! You to are... be fair, no, no, no. I had said that I was, like, 30 feet ahead of everyone, like, you power did. walking. Yeah, we were on the kick line together. Yay! Yay! Yeah, baby! Thank you so much, everybody! Yeah! Awesome. Oh, my gosh. I'll Thank have to you. make a, a stretch goal for 500. But this is um, fantastic. Okay, so, 67. You are frightened by the nearest creature until the end of your next turn. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. Are you Carla, the... no! Carla, no! Oh, you're in the bucket! You're oh, my God! You guys! And you were suspicious of Carla, too! You're, you're in the bucket with Carla. Carla is, is a monster! You notice that Carla is looking back with you with both eyes. <gasps> and you hear a voice in your mind, and it's like, I can feel... Or fear. Oh, I know. I know that you know. <laughs> Tell them nothing. <laughs> hey, Wait, Biscuit, you okay? You okay? You're, you're starting to breathe like Carla. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just one with the pug. Oh, and that's so sweet. I kind of like hug them both and like squeeze them really like close closer together. together yeah. <laughs> oh, I love both of you. <laughs> This is odd. What what a, a what a great what a great moment. Right. Great moment. Gotta love friendship. It's beautiful. Yeah, hey. that, was, that was beautiful. Anyway, you continue on into the city. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> you you take one step in. Wait, what? <laughs> Why? Another wild no! Magic. <laughs> the they want the wild magic. They want the wild magic. Want the wild magic. Oh my God. I do this enough yes. on my own fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> roll, Sarah. Roll for Shelly. All right. Ooh, I got a 15. Uh, 15 is for the next minute. Oh, it's not that exciting. You regain five hit points at the start of each of your turns. No. Oh. So someone pick a fight. You're looking someone pretty already. <laughs> Just start squaring up with Sarah. Um, as you guys are walking in, the gate guard uh, looks up and goes, Are you all okay? I'm feeling really good right now. Oh, they almost sprinkles. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Well, what's your name? My name is Guard. Your name is Guard? Yes, Guard the Guard. A, How do you uh, pronounce that? Full, we're having a bit of an issue with mine. It's a very oh, not sprinkles. Guard. Yes, Guard. Guard. Oh, guard. guard. Oh, guard. Okay. There's a J after the G. After the G. Oh. Interesting. Guard. Uh, we're, we're trying to guard leave. the guard. We're trying to leave. <laughs> if that makes hey, sense. Hey, you have a key so you can go in. No, we, we want right. to like go. Like, leave. I have place. key. I got in. I like go go home home like we we're not from here. From, what we do you came mean, what? from our house is illegally parked. <laughs> yeah, we might have been towed by oh. now. No, it is there. legal. It is we parked legally. It's not even our house. It's an inn. We're staying yeah. there. That's something Irish. It's like a temporary <laughs> house. <laughs> it's just, you we're just both? traveling the world with your accent. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's like I'm spinning the globe and stopping it. Like, all right, around the world in eighty seconds. All right. Um, Guard the guard goes. Um... <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So you both have a parking infraction and. You stole an inn? No, I told no. you. I'm I afraid I'm going to have to us. take you in. To not in in you know what I you know what I mean. We're going to the office. I thought we were going to another inn. I, I have a question. Is there someone here we can talk to about will, getting a house toad? Will we stand judgment before the wizard? I mean you can apply for that. Sounds very bureaucratic. I oh. don't know. That will take a long time. By the yes, way, well, I would like really to like, lodge. Really like your skin suit. Lodge a complaint. Skin what? Skin suit? Oh, your skin suits—they're great. I really like the one with the shell on it. 
I, this does is this card look like a skeleton? <laughs> no, he looks like a dude. Uh, Guar, <sighs> I have a question for you. Yes? Do you have 11 minutes before you have to take us in? <laughs> I mean, I Guard, look at this now. pug! This pug is named Carla. Carla has many roles and on her back. look at the small Carla is 13 beside year the pug. Old. And They're listen, both best friends. listen to Carla Bree. I'm trying to distract ritual, him again. Ritual casting augury again while I hope that these people can distract this guard. Yeah, yeah, now, just... now, well, well, yeah. well uh, while she's doing that, I would like to start contact juggling the pug. Ooh, it's like Use a double performance. <laughs> performance yeah. check. Uh, I'm using my advantage for this. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. This is a good. Don't drop the dog. Advantage. Oh, I rolled very well both times. Performance twenty three. Oh my god. I have looked into the abyss and not, not seen such greatness. The creature before me transcends all that I know. You must see the wizard immediately. Okay. All right. I'm never going to be able to cast this spell. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying, I'm trying to go. I distracted too well. I mean, there's no stars in here anyways. This is mostly performative. Uh, I haven't been able to find my stars in a while. <laughs> and I love the whole time I'm doing that, Carla's still just like... <laughs> 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 All right, let's let's skadoodle. I is is the hallway scared? Like, uh, what was that? The hallway is scared. Is the hallway scary? Like, we, I mean, it's it not like a hallway, hallway. It's like a street. Okay. Like you went to the gate, and now you're. Isn't in the that city. just nature's okay. hallway? Oh, it's like Farquad. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. Where are we going? So where are we going? Go to the yard. To the wizard's yard? tower. This is we're trying to go. That's wonderful. Um, Shelly's just gonna go to fist bump sprinkles. Oh, right, a fist bump! <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, we have a we have, have a, a wizard tower of your own. Oh, you can like help us navigate through what? this kind of thing. What? Sorry, uh, what? I, I said, do you have? Do, um, do you have? Oh, I forgot what I was saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Oh my gosh! You, it, you know it's one turn, right? This is, no! No, no! Something is happening! The fear lingers. She like floated on Scarlet for too long! I don't understand how it happened! It's physics. If you spin a cylindrical object enough, and Carla be in a perfect sphere. Oh my god. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go into my little shell and then just like turn in a circle. And we're gonna start just like a contact juggling. Yeah, we could contact ju juggle Shelly. What? What were you asking me? Something about a wizard tower? Uh, yeah, you ever been in a wizard tower? <laughs> yeah, I'm very overwhelmed. All I've right. been inside a wizard tower. My tower. Momentum. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> it's about backspin, you know. My most okay. list of a tower. I'm popping <laughs> out, and I'm going to start to walk, follow Giard, who I assume is staring at us, very irritated. <laughs> isn't isn't Giard still awestruck by Carla? The perfectly spherical yeah, he's dog. Just not breaking eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We go. Oh, God. We go. You go. Um, and uh, as you're walking, he uh, tries to make a little bit of small talk. And you're like, so are you guys uh, from here? Well, I guess he already told me that. Um, it's kind of weird that you come to murder during the emergent the emergent season. During the emergent season? Don't you mean moor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it does. What's well, oh, the emergent season? Uh, well, uh, not to sideline anyone, but um, I have been informed that we're allowed to show this art on stream. <gasps> it's so good, you guys. Beep. So good. Oh yeah, gosh. Carla. Beautiful. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Carla, so she'll, just, she'll just be over there. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> just. Okay, but so what's the best. emergency season? Oh, it's uh, when the beast comes. Uh, we were uh, told to, uh, to avoid. Fucking be aware of the beast. Yeah. Yeah. You probably should. Oh, 
Well, you seem so casual. It didn't seem like that much yeah, of a Yeah, it's just a very casual conversation about something that's called a beast. Well, it comes like every month. Oh. So it's, I kind of like lean in. So it's, you know, that, that, this, that beast. Does this <laughs> wizard? <laughs> we all just synced up. What's that's the, the beast. Je- what? <laughs> <laughs> that Does the wizard, uh, Come I'm a, a reptile. This doesn't pregnant. happen to me. Um, okay. Uh, Do we have chocolate? I have one piece of chocolate. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Has it been in your pocket this whole time? Yeah, it's covered in mishy mash banana. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask for some chocolate, but I can't eat that now. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> you make your way up the tower. You see other guards around, um, all of which look exactly the same. Ooh. Um, I want to point out. And in fact, you notice, um, take a peek as you can see like a changing room that you're walking past, and you notice that they have zippers on their backs. They go all the way down from the nape of their neck to the small of their back. Okay. Spooky. I'm just gonna ignore that. Yep. <laughs> I feel like that's polite. Hey, Val- Valentine. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't be looking at someone's zipper. That's, that's, that's rather impolite. Valentine, you seem to be of the um, the the charismatic persuasion. Uh, <laughs> Thank can, you so much. Can you do me a favor and, and uh, distract Yard? For but a moment, not eleven moments. <laughs> <laughs> no, just just one potentially one action's worth of time. Giard, he... I need you to make direct eye contact with me right now. <laughs> uh, persuasion or intimidation? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's the twenty-one. He makes direct eye contact with you. Uh, I'm going to use my furball magic to cast Disguise Self to look like one of the guards. Uh, and then I'm going to kind of tap Giard on the so- shoulder and be like, <clears throat> um, yeah. I've, I've been told by the wizard that I am to take them to the tower. Uh, deception check with advantage. Heck yes. Ooh. That's good because I have one in deception. Nice. How is a... 14? Well, I'm going to roll for it. Is how 14 <laughs> do you want me, is. Wait, yeah. did you use advantage already? <laughs> yeah. Can okay. we just double well, advantage? Well, you can't double it. advantage. You have your... I brain farted <laughs> there. My bad. Wait, you have a net 20 if you want to use it. <laughs> I'll wait until Alex tells me what he rolled. <laughs> I got a 13. Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Okay. Uh, I am... Sounds reasonable enough. All right, uh, you go get a cider on me. <laughs> I'll give him we a can't gold. do that. We can't do that in our work suits. I mean, take it off. Obviously. Yeah, I guess. Let let loose a little and kick your normal feet up. <laughs> let's go let's, to the wizard. He goes to the changing room. Let's, tower. let's go to the wizard tower now. Line my new up. friends. Where did Aunt Terry's go, guys? Don't know where he is. I, she? Where is she? She's I gone. Killed her. She's dead. <laughs> what? Oh no! What? She's dead. Oh no! But he. What about? Guys, it's me. Who's gonna look I've, after Carla? Oh. My disguise is so intricate and incredible that you did not notice that I had turned into an entirely different person. That was impressive. I just mm-hmm. figured that us going alone might allow us to set the 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 narrative of set our the presence. Scene, yeah. Of course. All right, let's mm-hmm. I'm assuming that one of these tall ones of the wizard tower. <laughs> <laughs> that makes Actually, sense. it's the smallest one. It's like uh the Chode Tower. Oh, it's like one of them ironic names. Yeah, exactly. it's deceptive. Yeah. The Chode oh. Tower. Got it. Got Let's it. Go. Chod's, Chod's, it's more of Chod's more of a dome, honestly. It's like a you climb, you enter into this gothic-themed dome. There's, <laughs> there's red light coming out into the sky around it. <laughs> and you open the big, heavy doors. Um, and you find that it is, for the most part, just one room. Um, mostly empty. 
Um, and there is a man in the far back at a very large desk, furiously writing. <clears throat> he is wearing like a green um, wall trench coat that turns black at the bottoms, but doesn't look like it's part. Like it looks like a mold on the fabric. And he has horns from what you can see from behind him. Excuse me, sir. I have brought some prisoners to the city here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We weren't prisoners. Sorry. I was not. We were. He was. I was. Other. I'm sprinkles. No, listen. Guard was taking us to show off Carla. We were not in trouble anymore. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you please allow me to speak to my superior officer? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I am a miss, not a min. God damn. Guys, I'm fucking bailing. Uh, <laughs> I will take care of this. Uh, Hello. I have a dog here. It is very cylindrical dog. That does not matter. Are you the wizard? Um, the figure stops writing and uh, scoots the chair back to stand up, turns around, and you see a tiefling with like ashen gray skin um fully like wine red eyes and you notice that their horns have like arcane runes carved into them and they also have similar tattoos going up their arms oh Oh, i I got some markings on my shell too look that's uh sandy (laughs) when i met her at the beach and this one's mac okay yeah you know it's all right i saw your shell i've got got names too um look and then I'm going to cast Mage Armor, and my robes are going to turn black, and the runes are going to turn red on the sleeves. <gasps> See? <laughs> I like, I like that you're prepping. <laughs> it's clever. Yeah, that was real, that was real smart. <laughs> uh, your tattoos look really cool. I'm just one of your guards. Can we please let this man talk? <laughs> Guys, we have spent the entire time trying to get to the wizard. Please. The wizard. Um, just looks at all of you and just waits to see how long you'll talk. You are the wizard, Listen, yes? I've, I've learned. Then it was the oh wizard. my! I've learned that the more you speak, the better solid your law gets. I am simply one of your guards. I don't think it's working, bruv. I, my name is Gaward. No, Gaward Gaur was back there. No, Gaward was the other one. That was Gaward. Stop, stop, I am Gaward. Ed. Oh, are you brothers? Yes, that's the lie. Sprinkle, I mean, that's the narrative. Sprinkle, <laughs> that's because the story. we need to quiet for a minute. <laughs> All right. Why would brothers have the same name? <laughs> All right, we had one of them ironic parents. Uh, <laughs> 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 one of them has an extra U in the name. Yeah. Uh, got a little it's homework. got the out. <laughs> there we go. What does ironic parents mean? (laughs) Wizard, I need your help. You are all doomed. What? Hi. Jesus. What? Wait, now. We came all this way, and that's the first thing you're gonna say. Listen up here. Not like a hello, welcome to my wizard power. It's really cool and gothic, don't you think? I don't have uh, a fortune, so the fact that you can determine what my future is is a little bit of hooaki, if I gotta say myself. Excuse like, the language. Honestly, I know your if future. If I'm it makes sense. Oh, because oh. your future is my past. That doesn't what? make it lick a sense. It's the emergent time. Once a month, the beast comes and kills everyone in this domain, with the exception of me and a few key figures. Well, like me. Are we the figures? The natives here come back. Oh. oh. Tourists and don't. We, uh, oh. So we need to leave to- now. Oh. Is Can I get a snow bo- like a snow globe? From a tourist, like you know, a little. And, uh... I don't know. I'm very worried about your safety at the moment because too, I should have found the beast by now, but I don't know who it is yet. Who? Yes, who? It's a different person every time. Oh. <gasps> is it always something? Is it you Carla? Know? Yeah. I swear to God. Scarlet, you hear that voice go. Bring me closer to him. Um, wizard, uh-huh. here, look at this dog. Is the beast Don't Carla? Don't give Carla and I'm to gonna, the wizard. I'm not giving Carla away. I will murder all of you if you simply harm this beautiful creature. I do not doubt your ferocity. 
A black cat walk. jumps onto the desk behind him. Maybe it's that it one. It has a little white at the end of his tail. Castle Talon, is this the beast? That could be the beast. No, that's familiar. What is wrong with you? Well, I'm the... I would like to cast Detect <laughs> Magic. <laughs> oh, you would? Okay. Yes. Give me 11 minutes and I can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> As you detect, detect ma Wizard, magic. Wizard, look at Carla. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You notice a few key things. One, like... Okay. Um, ooh, Biscuit's robes are magical um, because of the yeah. spell that was cast. Um, there's a few items on people that are magical. Scarlet's shoes are very magical. Um, Carla is magical. Okay. What's cool? But like, um, school are cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think you notice. With... Okay, go. Can keep going. The wizard himself is not magic. But the tattoos on him and a few items on his person are. Oh. Um, I would. Um, so I, as an action, I can see the faint aura once this is cast and find out what school of magic. So I would like to give Scarlet a once over and check out her shoes. Ooh. Um, I feel. I like... mean, also her. If she's got some sketch shit going on, I would love to know that. Well, it, it's not sketch shit, but if you want to check out Scarlet, <laughs> shoes I mean, are. Really can hold his breath. In Her some brain. way, kind of have That's every school of magic, but I will describe this okay. most as a kind of necromantic transfiguration. Okay. Of some kind of essence in the shoes themselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Heelys. <laughs> They're just heels. They're not um, heels. heels. Okay. Hey, um, I feel we were all really mean to uh, just walk right in here, uh, like wearing our shoes. Uh, like usually, you take off shoes when you walk into a house. So I'm just good. I don't wear shoes. Um, I'm gonna just brush off the dirt though. But I feel like people should probably be polite and take off her shoes. All right, I got my bunny slippers. I, I, my, nothing really fits on my hooves. I've tried for like style and fashion, but you know, at the end of the day, I mean, I am a full guard of the humanoid <laughs> variety. Mm. Okay, I'll take off my shoes and I take mine off too. Scarlet, you take off your shoes? Absolutely not. No. No, don't do it. I wasn't planning on it. What? what are you talking to? I've got no. I've got it's a, no. I'll get it. I've got another friend in my head. See, you sprinkles get it. Yeah. All right. Now is the time. Give me power, and I'll give you yours. Together, I don't, we will I be don't the know. perfect being. I, mm, I don't love that. If I mean honest, that yes or no? How am I? How do power? I give you power? Well, I don't need ultimate power. Just answer the question. Well, no, I need. <sighs> Yes. Before you, um, you see a scarlet shoes. The gem, the ruby gems in them grow rapidly, like shattering up into each other as they go up her leg and fully cover her body. Um, and morphs until what was once scarlet is now a ten foot tall fully armored ruby knight with a massive uh like ruby maul. Never mind, I made a good decision. <laughs> um oh, give it. Okay. Scarlet, you have been merged with the Ruby Lady of Mur and I am going to send you. you a stat block. You can still use your spells, but this is going to be a base stat block. Oh no. Awesome. Uh... <sighs> This is pretty cool. <laughs> Love how tall I am. Am I like this all? Ooh, am I like this all the time though? I mean, I took a lot of care in picking out what Anybody I look on? like. What's going on? I'm not talking to you, Sprinkles. Okay. Are you in here? Did I kill you? What the fuck is going on? Hell we are one down. now. Cool. Soon our minds will meld, and we will become the beast. Oh. Well, Kill them all. 
All right, guys, I need, I need about six more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would, I would prefer not to. I'm going to look over at the be wizard and be like, the beast. I feel like we found the beast. Yeah, I would agree with you. Um, I would like to start with an apology. <laughs> Oops, my bad. I some stuff happened in my personal life. Um, long story short, I was learning some magic. Some stuff went wrong. I accidentally killed my mentor. They became these shoes. I mean, I thought I would just bring them back, but now we are one perfect being and we'll become the beast. Wait. All right. I was no, just go, we can go is. home, right? We can just leave. Yeah. Oh, you... no, I need to eat you now. But we live That's a real here. shame. We're not tourists. I am a guard that is, I've got a wife and family, maybe. The only one who will survive is Carla. As this well, conversation well, is going on, Biscuit reaches into his pocket. And, uh... Listen, I would love not to do this. Takes out Gravy, his familiar, <laughs> who grows into a cat that is normal-sized, a.k.a. almost as big as this <laughs> kid. I was gonna say. <laughs> um, and he just pets him nervously. It's okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ellie, what, Listen, Scarlet, guys. Give me, give me four more minutes before you... Four more minutes? Test. Okay, I'll do my best. Um... Really trying to like keep it the bay right now. Uh, Murder. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, listen. Oh, blood. I, well, <laughs> uh, we, no. okay. You were saying, okay, wizard, really quick. Um, you were saying that if you you were gonna uh, do something to the beast before yeah, you huh? got it, oh, is there yeah. any kind of thing we can do? Well, usually I try to this? kill, but I'm too late. <gasps> no, don't oh, kill no. me. But you just said you want to kill us. <clears throat> well, no, listen. I do not want to kill you. Hag inside me wants to kill you. That's what you and call yours? Is, so, no, well, no, it's real person. Is yours not real person? Oh, no, mine's a demon. There is there is another person in my head. Oh, same, yeah. It's trying to take over my body now. Okay, oh, no. I'm only one person in my head. I accidentally blew them up. Thought I could just bring them back now. No. Turned out no. they can. <laughs> oh, bubbles, no. bubbles can. Bubbles can't do anything. Turned out oh. that's not uh, how it works. I wouldn't know because apparently I'm not very good at magic because I blew them up in the first place. Three minutes. And so I can anyway, ask you can see I'm kind of idea. I'm kind of going through a lot right now. Um, this heck. Uh, listen. It started off good. We were just fighting in the woods. I was learning magic. She was teaching me. We were having a good time. And oh. then, uh, as I said, accidentally, kaboom, house burned down. It oh. was house burned down. So does she. But what is left? Shoes. These amber shoes. They're great. We come in here. She tell me, listen, time to merge. This is going to bring me back. And I'm like, oh, great. Oh. I can, I can unkill a person. That's pretty cool, except now that she is back, I have to now kill a lot more people. Not what I wanted. Listen, is this how I am necromantic. Yes, time? this does not mean I want to murder people, no. There is wildly. Listen. Merge like mur? Oh, 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 I see. Merge. Oh. No, it's yes. murders and murder. Oh, no, no, no. oh, there's two. Oh. Can I do well, an arcana check? Wizard, yeah. can you help me? I can disintegrate you. Two more minutes, guys. No, and I can, thank I'm cast you. Augury. It's gonna be so well, good. Could you bring me back? Do you have uh like true resurrection? Not anymore. Is... Great, me either. So I'm glad we're on the same page. Yeah, where did you put it? That's like a really important one. I don't know. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed what? to be here. We are well, all I am supposed to no, be here. Let me face this. I am supposed to be here. This is where I am from. I am not supposed to be here inside with another person emotionally, spiritual, mentally, not supposed to be here. Basically, this is fine. That's how it is. No, I'll get that. I'll get that. that makes sense. Slaughter. Sprinkles, I... Sprinkles, look at me. I think we are on very different pages. I think we have two very different things going on. Can I say you I've keep relating to me, and that makes me very uncomfortable. Yes. <laughs> okay. Why? 
Thank God. <laughs> my hand, my knuckles are starting to hurt. Um, uh, can I, <laughs> I want to ask the stars uh, if uh, uh, if killing Scarlet is the right move using Ooh. augury. <laughs> Um, so is that either a wheel or woe or wheel uh, and woe? Wheel, wheel for good result, woe for bad, wheel and woe for both and good, or just not straight up nothing for... So is it a good idea? Is it a good idea to kill Scarlet? I mean, that'd, that'd be uh, wheel and woe. <laughs> All right, guys. Whew. Oh, all right. Let me. You oh. can't dissolve a complex moral dilemma <laughs> with some balls. All right, the stars are speaking to me. And I Wait, don't... let me oh, they... really try and undo this. Let me just. God, I'm going to whisper to the others. wisdom saving throw. Guys, the, the... I am going to use my advantage again. The star said killing her is either good or bad, and that's honestly as, as complicated as uh, it's ever been. Well, technically, morality is all relative, so good and bad don't really matter at all. I really wish the stars would be more clear. 21. Ooh. No! Why are you trying to fight me? We could be perfect together! Because it turns out you're a huge bitch who was just using me for my body! Damn. Ah! And the magic recedes from you, and the shoes plop onto the ground. At which point, Carla immediately starts eating them. <gasps> no! Oh, no! Spin out! Spin out! No! <laughs> I'm going to put shoes back on. No! 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 There's a noticeable chunk missing. Nobody touched goes, the shoes. I cast shatter Carla. on the shoes. Ooh. No! That is my magic. That's gonna hit I a have lot of so us. little magic. Please. Please. Carla starts Please. floating in the like air. Carla, no! Carla, no! no! The eyes glow red. No! No! No, Carla! I'm gonna start contact channeling Carla to try and make oh. it better. Roll initiative. Go! Ah. Ah. Guys, I should have just taken it. You should have just killed me. Oh, nice. I got a 19. Baby! I got a 19. Oh my god. I have. Sick. It's been, I've rolled it twice and it's been cocked both times. 12. 20. Let's Ooh. go. Wow, we did. We rolled really well for. Yeah. Nice. Dude, compared to how shitty we were rolling earlier today, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Alex, I would assume I don't have that stat block anymore. No, 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 no. Not at all. Yeah, it makes sense. Stat block. Uh, yeah. A different entity now has that stat block. I wonder is what it is. Carla. Is it a pug. Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh. With a surprisingly terrifying midsummer-esque flower crown. Your friend's got to draw Carla <laughs> yeah. with, with ruby slippers now. We are only $15 oh my God, away geez. from hitting Wait, our $500 goal. 15 Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, like, one give five? me advantage. One five. Give That's advantage. so close, Please. are you kidding me? You give advantage and you hit, make us hit our goal. Yeah, give someone you should give it to, advantage. Um, give it to Sprinkles. Sarah give it to Carla. Kelly, who has a higher <laughs> dexterity modifier? Uh, I have plus one. I have zero. <laughs> okay, so Kelly. She's strong, she not dexterous. I am not strong. Again, thank you everyone who has been donating. Yeah, it's really. I greatly appreciate it. This is really entertaining to just watch me. This is great. Uh, Boop -ba -doo. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what I can do to Kyle's picture to make sure that. <laughs> to make it spooky. Just turn Carla red. Okay. I feel like. Uh, the, just the flower crown is now covered in rubies with like the flowers in between them, and it is on fire. Uh, as like as like this unholy floating pug <laughs> of. Fire. No! This is no. so cool! <laughs> it's too late. I just imagine like a Skyrim fire elemental now, but <laughs> just a perfect sphere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With oh, just like boy. two little beady eyes looking out at it you. It is essentially, yeah, like a perfect sphere of fire with like two like black eyes that you can oh, see God. through. Oh. Um, he was so, so old. 
<laughs> and now it has gained ultimate power. Maybe, maybe yeah. Carla is like Phoenix and will rise from the ashes. I don't think so. Sprinkles, you're up first. I'm not getting Only that. one way to find out. <laughs> All right, out. Uh, Sprinkles sure. turns to uh, the Wizard of Mur, uh, mm. Mur, Mur, uh and says, um, well, so um, I'm a pacifist. I don't want to hit this dog. Do we need to kill the dog? It's too late. It's not um, dog anymore. It's, it's well, my now. Of fire. It is possible, uh, based on the fact that I'm assuming that the actual beast is uh, the ruby lady, the hag, you know, the entity with the shoes. So it, oh, it, yeah. perhaps is. we can separate them from each other and destroy the uh, evil entity without killing the dog. Yeah, I can think of another B word for her. Throw up? I mean, she is technically a bitch. Cause that's You've got that banana. Dog. Oh. I have a piece of chocolate. You have that gross banana. Oh, uh, um, I'm just... For uh, throw-up? Yeah, I'll dog, be back. Kill the dog anyways, though. I'll be back in, like, ten minutes. Sorry. Maybe a minute. Sorry. No, not leaving for ten minutes! No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I promise. I promise. Spring goes uh, with contact juggling. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh... Everybody watches as sprinkles the skin turns purple. Spines start to jut out and, like, these claws elongate. And, um... It, like he shuts his eyes and suddenly they're like these like s- demonic looking slits. Uh, he says, finally, it is time to spill blood. Uh, <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, we are not the same. We did not this have not the okay. same thing going on. Just so we're on the same page. Yeah, so I'm going to rage. Uh, and <laughs> I'm going to. So you, you're, you're telling me that if I get the crown off, might do something? Perhaps. Let me uh, athletics check, and I get an advantage because rage. Rage! Already. Yeah, so uno dos. All right, uh, 18. To sprinkle now? <laughs> what? Yeah, what? what? <laughs> that was not... It's true, yeah. You got it right. <laughs> I am not no, sprinkles, I, I am no. bubbles. I pointed out that Carla is currently <laughs> flying. Yeah. Um, oh. So... Mm-hmm. Do you have a plan on how to get up there to get to the crown? Can I jump? Okay. Um, I will. Well, I can take your first athletics check for that if you want. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 18. That works. Right, so you jump up towards the flaming ball of pug. Um, <laughs> yeah. And you uh, go to snag for the cr- for the crown. Okay. Yeah. So is that athletics again? Yeah. Okay. So it's just the same roll. Uh. 24. Ooh, Jesus. yeah. Yeah, baby. Yes. There we go. Uh, you land on top of this uh, fire thing. Um, this fire. And thing. as you, like, grab onto it to grab the crown, you are going to take some fire fire damage. Understandably, mm. yeah. Makes sense. Specifically eight points. Ooh, that's not nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, level three. We are level <laughs> three. <laughs> Imagine not having resistance to fire damage. Oh my god. Um, but Tifa what I will up. say is that without a letter check, you do manage to get the um, crown off. And uh, do you like jump back down? Yeah. So you have the crown, it's burning in your hands, and the rubies, uh, like, they they seem almost sentient as they, like, try to make their way back to Carla, like, they're pulling against your hand. Um, and you can see that uh, the Carla beast hybrid is noticeably weakened by this. Mm. All right, it's go time! <laughs> uh, next yeah. up is the Wizard of Mordor. Um, and... <laughs> Uh, he's, he's gonna say, uh, how does everyone feel about me disintegrating this dog? Very bad! Do it! Carla, do do it! Dog. Carla is a good boy! We need to destroy the beast, not the pup. Gener- general consensus is no? If general not, consensus no. is kill the dog! If at the end of whatever no. you're doing, Carla is okay, I'm fine, but if if, if, if you are done and, the, and Carla's not here, I will kill you. Yes, it will be bloody. All right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a different thing instead. And he takes out a <laughs> wand and casts uh, Raven Feeblement. Nice. On lethal damage. Uh, and he hits. You guys can just say that you're like actively aiming for like the entity 
that is possessing Carla. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not going to kill this dog. <laughs> oh, Good. I'm going to look into the camera and point out like, this is a funny bit. This is yeah. not, oh, you have to kill this dog. And all that. I'm not going to do that. I, right. I'm not putting that out there. She's too Carla. strong. She's too we strong. To, there we you don't go. need to kill the dog. We need to save the dog. Yes. Exactly. Yes. If I know yes. anything about pugs, you can't kill them. <laughs> we have mutated them exactly beyond the point of <laughs> Carla is indestructible. <laughs> and any damage you deal. Uh... <laughs> yeah, this was a best case scenario then. Mm -hmm. yeah, so literally... Raven Peeblement hits. Um, Carla Beast now does half damage on uh, strength based attacks. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Carla, have you tried to just say no? Like, no. Carla, just, like, listen, I was in there, I get it. Can, I don't know, you're a pug. How strong is your, are you a wise, are you a wise pug, Carla? Um, while you're saying that, uh, I do want to point that we got a wild magic surge earlier. Oh, no. And I did roll for Ooh. it over here and I did roll for Scarlet. Oh, never oh. mind. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oopsie poopsie, maybe I should know um, I didn't roll on the table yet. Let's see. I have a table here if you want me to read it. That'd be great. I've got a 25. A 25 is... Oh, God. Oh! An eye appears on your forehead for the next minute. During that time, you have advantage on wisdom, per uh, perception, checks that rely on sight. You're a salubri Ooh, now. You're a salubri! <laughs> <laughs> Why does it also have mascara on? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. All right, is Antares well, turn? I don't know what you're talking about. Antares. Antares. Oh, that's Kelly. Antares. Antares. All right, as, as, I, as I said, if, if a little round pupper isn't coming out of this scenario, then everyone in this entire room is going to die. Uh, <laughs> uh, now give me about 11 minutes. Uh, no, I'm just joking. Um, Carla. Have you ever considered how round you are? Uh, and I'm going to uh, like <laughs> stop contact juggling for a hot minute. Uh, rip the, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> rip the sphere in my palms. Uh, <laughs> face, like point them towards a point where I know that I can destroy this entity. Uh, pull back. And as I do, I'm going to be shrouded in starlight uh, using Archer, starry form, and I'm gonna shoot a, out a magical arrow, um, which I don't know how to roll this. But. I'm g just gonna point out again, you haven't used your nat 20. Hey y'all, I rolled yeah. a nat, does a nat 20 hit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, Whoa. All right, and that's going to be a, a barrel. Uh, 14 points of radiant damage against this evil flaming beast. Ooh. Uh, and I believe that was my bonus action. Uh, because a uh, circle of stars druid is pretty dope, actually. It is very dope. That's uh, a nice uh, little so, for one Um, with my arm back with that sphere, I'm going to shoot it forward, and out of the sphere is going to come a guiding bolt. Uh, um, does a 15 hit this creature? Um, normally it wouldn't, but because you took the crown off, it does. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Uh, so that does a total of 18 points of also radiant damage, and the next person that hits it gets advantage. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, is that me? That is you, actually. Ooh. If you're done, Kelly. Um. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right. I think that's everything. Then Shelly is up. I would like to cast spiritual weapon, and I will have it attack. What does your spiritual weapon look like? Um, my spiritual weapon just looks like a nice round rock. <laughs> Whoa. It's you just could do like... so much contact juggling with that. <laughs> surprisingly round rocks you see at the beach. And it's just Whoa. floating there and then it just goes. Bonk. 
you uh, thrust this magic rock at this ball of fire in front of you. So, I mean, I have advantage, but I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> oh my god. So, right. um, are we doing double damage or max damage for nat 20s? Uh, I usually do twice as much dice. Cool. Twice the dice. dice. Twice the dice. Modifier that's pretty, hands. that's pretty nice. <laughs> it shall suffice. Wait. Thanks, Bryce. Right. What? <laughs> 14 force damage against this demon spawn possessing our little Carla. <laughs> <laughs> we have to save her. <laughs> I will go to the ends of the oh. earth to save her. <laughs> and then all of that was a bonus action. Woohoo! So, right? I love clerics. That feeling went um, great. I'm gonna hit it with my. Ow, uh, hammer. Uh, it is currently flying 10 feet above the air, so if you I am want, going to not hit jump. it with my hammer. <laughs> Throw the hammer. Um, I mean, the floating disc um, is still here if you want to step on it. It's five feet up. The floating what? The floating oh, the disc. disc. Oh my god. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I planned it all along. All along. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is the is the the pot on it though? I mean, you can kick a pot. Okay, I'm, gonna I'm not gonna go make that take anything. You can kick a pot. Disc. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kick the pot. Go on the floating disc. <laughs> and then, do I have to jump? Like, am I am I swinging distance, or do I have to like jump, or like do I have to wait for? Time? I can say you're with you're in swinging distance. Sure. Perfect. It's a one shot. Ooh, I got. <laughs> 13 to hit. That will just barely hit. <gasps> it hits? Ooh. Wow, I am surprised. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is. Because um, the crown is... move. What? It's because of the crown. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Um, so that is uh, six um, bludgeoning damage. Fantastic. Oh. Um, Since you make a melee attack, you take some fire damage, though. No. <laughs> no. Oh no, no Shelly's dead. No, I can't no, believe it. If this kills you, that'd be so entertaining. <laughs> that'd be so bad. Uh, that's seven points of fire damage. Okay, I'm not dead. I'm fine, guys. Don't worry. Oh Shelly's got some. I can't some... believe Shelly died. Turned to a ghost <laughs> like Wilmer. Hey, oh, <laughs> come on. Uh, that's my turn. I guess I'll hang out on this disc. Looking scary. Biscuit pitter patter. You are up. Where is the crown um, in per, in like relation to everybody else? I think sprinkles. Oh, I've got it. Hand. In yeah. your hand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna Bubbles do has what it. I was going to do. Um, I am going to... Biscuit uh, rubs his paws together quickly and then releases them towards the devil inside of Carla and says, Go! And I'm going to cast Scorching Ray um, using uh, my nat 20 on one of the bolts uh, to hit. And then my next two to hit. Okay, I got a 15 and a 17. So I think all three hit. Is that right? Yes. Yes. This is going to be so many d <laughs> So So a natural 20, so that's 46. So 86 total. Like a little fireball. Yeah. I rolled That's a lot of some sixes. ones, but some sixes. That's 29 fire damage targeted towards this evil entity. <gasps> no. Fights fire with fire. Yes. Fire. Bringing up the heat. It starts making fire puns. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Does it look right. like it's uh, taken less damage than I would anticipate? Yes, but okay. you did also do a lot of damage, so it balances. <laughs> um, Scarlet. All right, Ruby. It is time for a taste of your own medicine. Um, Scarlet's eyes, all three of them, are gonna like roll to the back of her head and um, 
She's oh. just gonna open her mouth, and out of it, this, like, sickly, like, neon green smoke is gonna come out and, like, float up and encase, um, uh, uh, the little fireball, the little, mm-hmm. the little sphere. Um, and I'm gonna use my uh, Thief of Five Fates to once a day cast Bane. Ooh. So they gotta make a charisma saving throw. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, how charismatic is fire? Come on. Um, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's not on. That's a 12. That's a fail. Oh. Ooh. So you Come have on, minus. Uh-huh. Mm. You know, you are never really that great. Uh, they have minus a D4 to all attacks and saving throws for... I, I would assume a minute, but I have the number three written down for some reason. Don't know what that's about. It's also a I'm going to assume it's one minute. Yeah. It is concentration. All right. Um, that is going to be your turn. Yes. Carla is going to find, well, not Carla, the beast consuming Carla beast. is going to uh, finally do something. <laughs> ooh, ooh, what, what, does it, what does it want to do first? Okay. Um, Don't hit me. <laughs> she like, she like gonna, holds up her axe like directly in front and starts like shaking. <laughs> Please. Okay, there are four of you. So, I gotta find the four. I never thought I would be the one who has the dice can't find problem. It's more of an <laughs> That's my brain. Look at I had mine all out and ready before. I picked four sets. I'm ready. I forgot four to bring dice. You forgot to bring fours. dice? Who forgets I've dice? I've been rolling online. Yeah. I know. It's shameful. good when you're rolling like a lot of dice though to roll online. <laughs> that is true. It does the it math. Touch it and it does ever. the math and you're like, wow. Oh, look, 29. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ellie I do that whenever Terrace. I, like, cast high-level magic the first missile. Attack. Who? Um, Kelly and is Terrace. going to be taking the first attack. It's a terrace. No! As, um, a... Kind of, like, the ball just kind of, like, flies towards you rapidly and slams into you. Ah! <laughs> um, Bye. and it's going to be a 12 to hit. Damn it, that's my AC. <laughs> Wait, have I used Carla's advantage? No, you haven't. <laughs> but you also, oh, wait, I have no, a that question. Was is it Carla's? Is, is it a question, Carla's, Alex? Or yes, is it the beast? Are you leaving my fighting area to go and attack Antares? Yes. Yes, I was. Do you want to take a swing on my big fat yes, axe? You can do that. Yeah, Slash more big hammer. Fat axe. Ah, so, 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 so. Drop that axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who can take an opportunity attack? I think it's just me because I was in melee, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Because of the floating disc. Yeah. Um, uh, that is an 18 to hit. It'll definitely hit. And that is five bludgeoning damage. All right. Tara, you said a 12 hits you, right? Yeah, that's my AC. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Boy. Oh, no, I'm really sorry. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh! I have a question. Ruh, ruh. If anyone's gonna kill me, the We're demon not... inside Carla is Listen. the way I would want to go. I so it's well, going to be fourteen bludgeoning damage eh. and five fire damage. Oh. Uh, I have make a question. A, uh, <coughs> strength saving throw. Oh no, I got a minus one question? on that. Yeah. So we're not fighting Carla. We're How's fighting a... the beast. How so... a one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oh. You're knocked from. Uh. Um, so we're fighting the beast. We're not fighting Carla. Um, so the beast probably like wouldn't have Carla's advantage, right? I guess not. Thank you. Sure. Thank you for say, coming to my TED talk. <laughs> there was also a DM advantage that was given yeah, that's true. true. All right. Well, <laughs> come on, guys. Anyway, uh, it has one more attack. He- uh, I'm trying to help us out. Like here. I have two advantages that I chat. Can you have to help us. You have to donate. Give us Come on. <laughs> yeah. Um, biscuit. Away. You take the next attack. No! Someone saved me! <gasps> Dude, we got it. We sure, did. we got it. We're at 500. Yay! 
Oh my god! <laughs> nice! Let's go! Also, Thank you. I rolled a two. Yes! Oh, good! Yeah. Whoa! So many good things! Oh, thank goodness. As the, as the ball swings around again, trying to hit you, um, it is now back to Sprinkles. I'm gonna try to break the crown. How do I, uh, how do I go about doing that? Oh, do I make, like, an attack roll? I, I would say attack roll, see how much damage you do. Alright, I got two of those. So... Bank. Alright, that is a... 24 to hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, right. hit it. you hit the inanimate object. Uh, yay! What else do we Good get? job! I'm doing so well. All right, and then that's, uh oh, shoot. Uh, 10 points of damage for the first hit. Uh, slashing. Okay. And then I'm going to do that again. That is a net one, but I'm going to use my advantage. <laughs> yeah! Uh, nice. Hopefully that's bad. It's another net one. Oh what? my god! <laughs> Why are you doing sprinkles? No! I can't believe sprinkles just dies. <laughs> yeah. You like throw it against the ground and then it bounces back and hits you in the head. Nice. Nice. Is this black magic? Take one emotional damage. <laughs> yeah. Should I take any bludgeoning from that? Um. Sure. <laughs> what? No, it was a joke. That wasn't the answer I, I wanted. Take, I take it back. <laughs> no. Hold on. That was a bit. Excuse me, teacher. Do we have homework? <laughs> um, uh, it is now the wizard's turn. Um, the wizard who is worried about the safety of this pug and uh, other things is, um, yeah, I have no clue what he's gonna do. <laughs> okay. Can't you disintegrate the uh, thing, but not the pug? Actually, he could crown? disintegrate the. He, he could disintegrate crown? the crown. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna go over to the crown and hold it up. Uh, and then you see as he points out his left arm and then arcane runes arc from like the starting at the horn and then going down the shoulder and you could see them like bl like glowing beneath uh, the sleeve as it like goes in a spiral up the finger and a disintegration shoots out and Sam, roll me a d20 and tell me what you get. Okay. This is a luck check. Mm. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> you already used that advantage. And I just used my advantage. All right. If okay, I'm gonna give you a range beforehand. If um, you get okay, a five or lower, it hits you and not the crown. If you get a five to ten, it hits a uh, part of you and the crown. Actually, no, it would just hit part of you, so you just take a little bit of damage. That's when we I got an eight, in. so give me the damage here, Buster. I want to oh, no. see if I'm dying or not. Damn, this is why you need to have your own dice. They, is, I, a, can, a computer cannot love you the dice, same way. My I dice, can. you know that my saying. dice do not love me. You know that they do not love me. They rarely ever Neither do fall. Alex's. Oh, Correctly. no, I dropped it. Alex's dice are very bad too. Mine yeah, are right. wonderful. They treat me either very well or very poorly when they're mad at me. But <laughs> most of the time, I gotta go most of the time we're great. Where's my dice calculator? There it is. Dice oh, calculator? That big, mm -hmm. huh? Dice How calculators are for cowards. Um, like, call I mean, me you don't take a full disintegration. You weren't that unlucky. A level 20 wizard. <laughs> Um, okay. but I'm about to get poop done. Uh, 35 points of force damage. Oh boy. Oh no, sprinkles! Yeah, that's gonna be it for- I love you so much! For sprinkles, uh, um, You are not dead, is what I'm going to say. You're not fully disintegrated. Okay. <laughs> um, but- <laughs> Well, hold on. Sure feels like it. <laughs> um, the crown does clank to the floor amongst a pile of ashes. They're not mine, right? I'm like, no, they're not my ashes. What's gone? Oh. No. I'm going to come out of rage, obviously. So <laughs> my like bones start like clicking back into position and whatnot. And Sprinkles is just lying there. Just knock the fuck out. <laughs> oh. what, what, like, like the Hulk after. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> really good. All right. It is now... 
uh, and Terry's turn. All right. Um, seeing uh, Sprinkles kind of revert back into his uh, original form, I'll be like, eh, all right. Um, <laughs> Could be better. L, uh still with the like uh, shroud of stars over me. I'm gonna like laying on my back, <laughs> aim, shoot back the uh, arrow and uh, fire another uh, celestial arrow at this fire entity. Which again, I, I I definitely should have looked up how to how I do how I do this. How? Uh, but I definitely didn't. It's a ranged spell attack. <laughs> so one second, one second. This is gonna be plus four. I'm just gonna roll plus. I'm just gonna be plus four. Uh, does a eleven hit? No, oh, unfortunately, it does not. All right, so I just kind of like roll. Past, I roll some, over <laughs> and like very. It's a window in the distance. Very like uh romantically reach out my hand towards Sprinkle and be like, "Listen here, Buster, you're you're gonna be just just peachy keen and fine, and I'm gonna use healing word." To heal you for nine points of damage. Yeah! Oh, wow. yeah! That's the most you can get before double digits. And then I'm gonna. Where's be... my arm? Uh. Yeah. Gone. No it is gone. <laughs> Arms sometimes go. It happens. No Arm comment. is gone. Move on. Focus on. Focus on creature. I am focus just. On... He's like scream. She's screaming there atop her little like floating. Dance. Oh my god, that's right. You're just up here. <laughs> <laughs> I am just a guard, and I'm going to stand up, and that's the rest of my turn. All right, Shelly. Um, is anyone else not looking good, or is it just our friend who's missing an arm? That's I'm I, still good. Yep, I am doing wonderful. Thank you. I'm at okay. five, so I'm going. I'm accepting I'm my going great. I could so use it's... some healing, but you know there are more priorities going on. Perfect. Um, I will. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Um, I'm going to, uh, first off, I'll hit it with Sacred Flame. Uh, say, not Sacred uh -huh. Flame, my um, spiritual weapon. Mm -hmm. Does a 15 mm -hmm. hit? Yes. Perfect. So Rock that is, around. Hmm, that is five force damage. And then, um, I will all Twilight Sanctuary. So that's 30 foot radius centered on me. And um, any creature that ends its turn in the sphere gets uh, temp HP <laughs> equal to eight. Nice. Very cool. Nice. I get eight temp HP, and it means everyone else who's around me at the end of their turn gets eight temp eight, eight temp HP as well. Is that gonna conclude your turn? That is my turn. Biscuit pitter patter. All right, buddy. This is a <laughs> stick up. And he puts his paws out, and he's gonna shoot um, magic missiles out of his fingertips towards this darkened beast. Um, dealing. Oh no, my digital dice roller froze. There we go. This is why, <laughs> hard copy only. Why? What did I tell you? <laughs> okay, that's a total of 12 uh, damage, force damage. How would you like to do this? Hey. Yeah. Yes, biscuit. Um, takes like a Charlie's Angels pose as he overly flourishes, somehow finding a little bit of confidence still in his very quick beating heart um, as his force missiles dash into the beast holding Carla's poor body captive. Uh, and it like pierces into the smoke and, and like causes it to like shatter into dust. And Carla flops to the ground and then immediately starts licking herself. <laughs> <laughs> she is big! Get this Carla! Carla! What a majestic beast. Um, oh, uh, oh, uh, wizard? Oh my god, you did it. No one, no one died this time. 
Uh, what are we I'm, I'm missing an arm. The demon crown. Oh yeah, we should probably destroy that. It's yep. a good idea. It's a good idea. Uh, and then he works on, takes out his wand and just like casts a variety of spells on it until it's, it's no more. And afterwards, he is going to go up to Biscuit. He stands over you, a six foot tall individual. Whoa! <laughs> and, then he, and then he kneels down to get closer to your height. Takes out his hand and says. You are the greatest wizard I have ever known. Thank you. Aww. It's a pleasure to meet you. Aww. And he goes to shake your hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tears. <laughs> the emergence time has ended, which means that the mists are lifted. Which means... It means we, you can leave. We can go? <laughs> But we, how do you move a house? Yeah, we got an inn parked what? illegally. Yeah. Yep. No, it is parked completely legally. Oh, oh we can we can get the house tour for you. <gasps> oh, thank ah. you. Oh, I knew it. I bloody knew that there was a house tour. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and he takes you outside, and um, there's a massive hot air balloon. <laughs> oh. It's like, yeah, that's the house tour. We uh, pick up houses with it. Can I ride? I always hey. wondered what that was for. Right. Big ugly blimp in middle of city. What? Yeah, it's for parking violations. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Oh, a question. Yeah. Oh, could I um get my hand back, maybe? I uh, don't know if I can fully bring it back, but I can try my best. And uh, actually, I can. I can do. I can do one thing. Uh, and he is um, going to cast Life Transference. Um, and you just notice your arm regrows, and then his disintegrates. Oh, well, that's, that's not fun. I don't want that to happen to you. I've lived enough. I don't need two arms. Well, you, you could you could have, like, like, the pinky or, or, or like, a thumb. I can, I, can, I, can, I can find another way. All right. I've got, I've got an idea, uh, and I'm going to use my... My final wild shape uh, to summon a ferret and have tell the ferret to just kind of grab onto the wizard's arm. So this um. is, this is going to be good for about an hour. But you know, if you got any last minute notes you got to take, <laughs> the, the ferret will. Yeah, he know, still like, has another arm. <laughs> you got any? There is. If you got any last spells you got to write before the. This ferret disappears. Guys, there is another arm. I'm so he sorry. I, another... The ferret's good good at calligraphy. I summon one that specializes in. Um. He just calli- dictates to the ferret. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> you think it's a random ferret with like a fucking pen in its mouth, <laughs> just coiled around somebody's wrist? <laughs> love it. That's love a shitty character it. idea. That's so good. I a can't even conceptualize that. That is it. Inscribe yeah. for them. Oh my god. <laughs> You know it. Oh, beautiful. Hey, well, I guess um, this is it then. Uh, thank you for oh. not killing us. Yeah. I mean, did you think I was going to? Uh, yeah, I really yeah, thought you were gonna kill me. Yeah. Us, Especially yeah. like me specifically. Really thought you were all gonna. Oh, oh, I thought yeah. I was gonna have to kill you too. Well, yeah, no, you were gonna kill us. Well, though. I thought you guys were gonna have to too, if I'm being honest. Like, woof. But hey, Wait. better, better well, me than thing. Carla. Do you have marshmallows? Do I, I have marshmallows? No, I'm not. I'm talking to the wizard. Shh. Well, you know what? I do. You what? This the whole time? <laughs> you never <laughs> asked me. You never asked that I have a marshmallow. <laughs> you just said marshmallow. Oh. Chocolate milk. It's- if it's cool, I'm gonna go and sit in the hot air balloon and munch on some marshmallows. Are you gonna roast them? Right. <laughs> no, I'm just eating them. Uh, I mean, I could though. If I'm gonna speak my truth, I, I, I honestly thought at the end of this road we would find someone that would tell us that the thing we've been missing all along has been inside us this entire time. But that's a bit of derivative. So honestly, I'm, I'm excited to go find. What kind them. of bullshit is that? I no, no, I don't think know. it's true for me actually. What? Yeah, no, Bubbles are our friends now. 
well, that's okay. good. I'm going to take Carl. I'm going to get people, this that's more of the fun. Well, I mean, that's nice. I don't know if I still have magic because we just killed my patron, which deserved. Very I'm... deserved was demonic entity. Uh, I'm just going to. No, Sh- demons are bad. Send off like a little eldritch blast, like nice. a little firework. Yeah. Just it goes. OK, awesome. When I catch El- cast eldritch blast, I go like photo negative and you can just like, like see my skeleton inside my body. Oh, that's cool. Oh, once once again, that that's more attractive than the original. <laughs> Damn it. Um, <laughs> my constellation fully is not here anymore, so I'm going to go get on this hot air device, go back to wherever I came from and keep looking. So have fun with that ferret for the next hour. Uh... <laughs> Car- Carla, shall we? Yeah, let's go. Oh, Carlo is out to me. I get we really are just starting a cult for yeah. Carlo. If, if yeah. you want to you go level Carla, I'll, yeah. I'll go in with this. <laughs> Carla's your Carla. new patron. Yeah, I will Carla! Allow you to take Carla as your new patron. He's my new patron, Carla. You live in the old me with such magics. <laughs> oh my with God. our sweet pug self. All right, I got a shitty class idea for you. <laughs> Pug patron. Pug patron. I will write ferret, this. I will write man. this one out. <laughs> Pug patron and ferret familiar. Let's go. All right. Are we all getting on this? I am. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Do you think I want to stay here? I mean, you're from here, so maybe. I also killed a woman here twice. Yep, that's true. Okay. Well, that must be a little traumatic. Yeah. Yeah, actually, we yes, very. Our, our real homes. Oh, I'm, so... I'm sorry to hear that. You're okay. Okay. We choose our real homes. My home was inside me all along. I think your home was outside you the whole time. I mean, you're a turtle. <laughs> isn't, your, isn't your home with you? The... Oh. Oh, I guess I never thought of it that way. Yeah. And I just keep munching on my marshmallows. Can right. I want? I want to watch Shelly do the, the like marshmallow challenge. <laughs> <gasps> Fluffy bunny. Fluffy bunny, oh, that's no. what it is. I cast oh, enlarge no. on the next really marshmallow that goes into Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let me ask the stars how this is going to go for you. Give me 11 minutes. You all joke around and play as the hot air balloon blows away, and from the ground, the wizard will yell, Remember, it is not the things that you do, but who you do them with. Is that like a sex thing? Yeah, is that a sex thing? <laughs> Hello! It is very hard to hear you all the way up here. You're going to have to speak a lot louder. Are you suggesting like a group sex thing in the hot air balloon? That seems very unsafe to me. It's going to be a hot air balloon then. <laughs> Keep it up with the steam. Yeah? Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's the that's from the propane. Hard wink. <laughs> when you get back to the fields of gold. <laughs> The crows help you attach the inn to uh, the hot air balloon. Um, and then you fly off into the sunset. Or I guess, no, it'd be sunset. And you <laughs> notice some familiar con- constellations before you. Whoa. That's not mine. That one ain't mine. That's I still can't fucking find it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, here. How about you do this instead? I'm going to take, take away the glass ball. Just put Carla in there instead. <laughs> Whoa. The now now do your thing. Wrinkles. Try it. <gasps> oh my god, it's so much more balanced. Oh. <laughs> and her eyes are so sparkly like the stars. <laughs> We're really all just becoming warlocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, as you all collectively worship this dog, <laughs> that is where we're going to end for the night. Yeah! yeah. Excellent. Yay. Excellent. Thank you so, all so much. This is fantastic. Oh my um, God. We, with <laughs> raising over $500 USD, means that we've funded over eight hours of one on one counseling for survivors. 
almost 24 hours of the crisis line at Wave Rape Crisis Center. So many survivors are going to be affected by your donations. The link will remain open if you have funds to spare and you're watching this on our YouTube channel 30 days after the air date of today, which is October 23rd. You can still donate and make a difference in survivors' lives. Thank you so much to Role Playing and Role Playing. All of you have been fantastic yeah. coming on and helping us organize Oof. this fantastic thing. It was all your idea. Uh, you are all amazing for doing this fantastic fundraiser. Is there anything you yeah. want to say to everybody watching before we head yeah, out? Yeah, tell us your socials. Where are you yeah. find you? Yeah, real quick. Uh, I'm going to plug this not because, well, my birthday is tomorrow, and I'm only saying that. So hey. if you want to give me a present, donate, please. <laughs> I'd really like yes, that. Yes. If you could do that. Uh, but our socials are at role playing at that is R R O L L playing. It's a little play on words, role playing. Uh -huh. Um, but <laughs> we do shitty ideas literally all the time. It's never ending. My life is completely made up of them now. <laughs> and if you want to check those out, you can check us out there. We also have a podcast. It's about to be in its second season. That's going to be cool. Alex is running this season. Um, but yeah, that's that's our gist. It, it's it's about it's like this. It's very chaotic and fun. So if you enjoyed this, you will love our podcast. But yeah, thank you all. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you all for donating, especially. Big help. Yes, thank you. Is that everything? That's it. Thank you I so much, everybody, all. for coming, and we'll see you next time. I'm, I'm gonna go s send you to somewhere bound, which seem like they look like a bunch of cool people. So stick around for that raid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.